Your local Ashley Home Store is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday. Merry Christmas and Happy Friday. It is time for Feel Good Friday and we have had an incredible year going all over Eastern Idaho thanking people for the good things they do. All of this is made possible thanks to Ashley Home Store in Idaho Falls and Pocatello. They have been a great sponsor of Feel Good Friday every week, helping us do our jobs while supporting those in our community. So for today's Feel Good Friday, we are going to take a look back at 2020 and all of the surprises we We've done we've put them together in this special feel good friday special we hope you enjoy watching it and we will be back next week for a brand new feel good friday kicking off 2021 just right happy new year everybody time for our first feel good friday of 2020 and i want to introduce you to rodney and spencer billman we're about to surprise a woman she's working right now she takes care of the breakfast right at a local hotel that is correct so tell me a little bit about tammy Tammy's worked at the hotel for quite a while. Um, she does the breakfast, uh, makes breakfast for the, uh, the guests that are there, uh, visits with them, uh, finds a little bit about where they're at, what they're doing, uh, how, how she can help with their stay while they're here. And Tammy is one of these people, from what you, you told me, she, uh, you never know who might be coming home to, for her to take care of, right? She's just one of those generous people that always takes care of others. That's correct. There's been several times where people that have been in the hospital for uh, their families may be in the hospital. She'll bring them over to the house and uh, let them have dinner, a uh, nice cooked meal, just something to help them out. All right, well, we wanted to go in and thank Tammy for the hard work that she does and all, all she, she, the activity she's involved in to take care of other people. So she gets off in about an hour. Correct. So she's probably just cleaning up the breakfast now and. Let's go surprise her. Are you Tammy? Tammy, I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How are you? Great. How's your morning going? Well, yeah? yes. Well, well, we're hopefully going to make it a little bit better. We're here for our Feel Good Friday segment with okay. Ashley Furniture. Somebody yes. told us about you and said, what a hard worker you are here at the hotel. And not only that, but I guess you've been known to bring home people that might need a meal or a place to stay and let them stay with you. Yes. Yeah. Why do you do that? Because I love my job. Yeah. Um, it's humanity, getting out there, helping people that are in need. Nobody wants to spend a month in a hotel. So it's nice to take them home, even meet my crazy family and have some fun. But yeah, and those friendships have continued on. So We're still in contact with many of them and it's great. So you're saying that a lot of people you might meet here in the breakfast area, yep. you get to know them, uh -huh. and then eventually you say, you know, you don't have to stay in the hotel, come yep. home. Come home, have meat, loaf and potatoes and good meal and then yeah. You this don't have fun. to do that, you know. No, but it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, there's great people, we meet people from all over the world here. So it's a great place to work. Now what brought you to Idaho? Um, family. So we kind of seem to be on a every six year move. We've done North Dakota, Washington, Idaho, and now we're back to Idaho, so. And what do you like about your job? The people. It's a great company to work for, and I meet people from all over the world. People are good. There's you have to be up early though. I know breakfast starts early, right? It does, I'm here by quarter to five. Uh, every morning? Yes, well, five out of seven. Okay. So. Well, we wanted to thank you for all you do and on behalf of all the other people too who you've invited over for meals or mm -hmm. a night to stay. So we got you some flowers yeah, and a box of chocolates. You. And then thank we want you to you. give you a, a night out with your husband, your family. So there's some dinner certificates that you can use and a night at the movies. Great, thank you. There you, you go. To and, whoever did this. Well, you know, it's, it's part of Feel Good Friday and we just wanted to thank you for making our community better. Well, thank you. Hello there, I am Nate Eaton with EastIdahoNews.com outside of Tiebreaker Elementary School. We're about to surprise a student in here who has no idea that we're coming. I wanna tell you a little bit about Corbin. Corbin is a 10 year old boy who has a heart of gold. He's been raising money to donate to cancer patients. He's already earned over $200 from making and selling braided bookmarks and shoveling snow. He wants to use that money to create baskets filled with items for cancer patients and possibly make a donation to a cancer research group in memory of his Papa Matt. 
We thought that Corbin could use a little Feel Good Friday cheer, so we have a few gift cards for him to go to the movies and enjoy dinner. We also got him some gift cards so that if he wants, he can go buy some of these supplies for these things that he's selling and uh, hopefully give him a Feel Good Friday. So again, he doesn't know we're coming. He's inside and we're gonna go into his classroom. We walked in and the bell rang. How are you guys? Good. We're with East Idaho News and we're looking for Corbin. Corbin, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, what are you guys doing? Um, my teacher's reading us a book. We're here for our Feel Good Friday segment. We go out and we thank people in the community for doing really cool things. We understand that you have been raising money to help people with cancer. Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Um, yeah. Um, when my grandpa Matt died when I was about two years ago, maybe, um, I felt sad because I couldn't do anything, and I thought if I make these bookmarks and sell them, I could get money and help donate. So what do you do that's special about the bookmarks? Um, they're handcrafted. Really? What do you do with all the money that you raise from these bookmarks? Um, I'm planning on making gift baskets and help with gas for them and donate the rest. So gas that they can drive to their doctor's appointments, things like that? Yeah. And you've been shoveling snow too to raise some money? Yeah. Yeah? Well, we wanted to thank you for Feel Good Friday, so we got you a few things from Ashley Furniture Home Store. Hmm. Have you ever been to uh, Target? Yeah. Well, here is a gift card that you can use to buy things for for the baskets that you want to make and, or any supplies that you want. You can take that to, to buy, maybe help with your bookmarks or whatever. Okay. And then you need to have some fun. So there's a gift card to get some ice cream. And here's a gift card to the movies. And have you, <clears throat> have you ever been to Chick-fil-A? Um, yes. Okay, there's some Chick-fil-A gift cards. So you can get dinner, go to the movies, and get ice cream, and then go shopping. Well, is there anything that you want to say to people out there that might have cancer? Any message that you want to give them? Um, yeah, I'm there to help you, and I hope you all have a good life. Happy Friday, everybody. Hopefully you have survived all of the snow this week. I want to tell you about an email we got just a few days ago. Someone's pizza may have been delivered a few minutes later than it could have, but instead of driving by this stranded vehicle in a precarious situation, the pizza delivery man quickly came to the rescue. A car was stuck at an intersection, and the delivery man helped get it back on the road and then hopped in his own car and went right back to delivering pizzas. Of course, you and I have seen cars stuck in the snow likely before on the roads, but this guy happened to stop and help. Well, we did a little investigating and found out that his name is Johnny and he works here at the Pizza Hut in Shelley. He's working right now and we decided to thank him for Feel Good Friday. Are you Johnny? Yep. I'm Nate with East Idaho nice News. Nice How are you? Not too bad. How are the roads this week? You deliver pizza, don't you? Yeah, a lot of the time I do. Yeah? So uh, tell me what happened yesterday when you were out. I was just on my way to make a delivery and I saw someone stuck. I went around him and helped him get out. You could have easily, though, just gone on your way. I mean, you got pizza in the car, right? You got to drop yeah. it off. Yeah. So why'd you stop? Because I knew it wouldn't take too long and I just felt like helping. Yeah. What have the roads been like the rest of the week while you guys have been out delivering? They've been slick. Yeah. Yeah, really terrible. Have you gotten stuck at all? Uh, not in town. No. On the outskirts, though. Yep. So, so are more people ordering pizzas because they're stuck at home on the roads? It's kind of a toss-up. It's still about the same. Okay. Well, somebody emailed us and sent us a photo of you helping the person out mm -hmm. of the, of the uh, snow, and they thought that you should be commended, as did we. So we came by for our Feel Good Friday segment to thank you, and we got you a few gift cards from Ashley. All right. Well, you probably have to pay for your own gas. So there's a gas card that you can fill up your car with. Appreciate and also, that. that's a night out for you to go have dinner and go to the movies. Well, thank you, guys. You're welcome. Thank you, and thanks for helping. And I hope if I'm ever stuck in my car, you're behind me. I hope so, too. <laughs> All right.
Happy Friday, everybody. Nate Eaton here outside of the Idaho Art Lab in St. Anthony. You may not have heard of this place, but it was started years ago by Kara and Daniel Hidalgo. They do it out of the kindness of their heart. They often don't make any money running the art lab, but it is open to the community for people to come and do whatever they want. You want to come and paint something? You can do it here. You want to use the pottery equipment or cut some rocks or use the kilns? You can do it here. In fact, people from all over the world, different artists have come to work in the Idaho Art Lab. And again, Daniel and Kara started this. It's a nonprofit. They're doing it out of the kindness of their hearts and because they love art. And we want to thank them for Feel Good Friday. Ashley Home Furniture got them an Amazon gift card and a night out. We're going to send them to the movies. We're going to send them to dinner. Now, Kara thinks we're coming to do a news story about an upcoming event, so she's expecting us. What she doesn't know is we're about to surprise her. Hello, are you Kara? Kara, I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Nice to meet you. We're actually here for our Feel Good Friday segment. All right. I told you we were coming to do a story, and I guess we kind of are. Kind of hoping for a story. Well, we can get a story, a story out of it too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you guys have been doing this for quite a while. You and your husband Daniel, yeah. right? Right, and twelve other volunteers. And so. when did this start? When did you start the Idaho? What's the official name? The Idaho Art. Idaho Art Lab. Okay. Um, we started working on a renovation in the old building in 2010 opened uh, mid-summer 2011 and then moved here 2012 so it's we're going on nine years of, of actual production so. and you don't get paid you're not drawing a salary um if we can afford it we can make about 300 a month here oh, wow. <laughs> why do you yeah, do it well uh, it's it's an amazing community and every time we think we can't we can't afford it we don't have time we need to think of ourselves something happens in like 24 hours and you just get your mind changed and my heart broken usually. <laughs> so, but it's somebody, always worked out. Yeah, somebody walks in and they explain how important it is to them or they're contemplating suicide, they didn't feel a part of the community. I mean, there's heartbreaking stories all over East Idaho. Well, and I didn't know that this was even here. I and, know, and, we have no advertising money. Yeah, well, that's okay because we're <laughs> advertising it right now. Yay. You're in St. Anthony. <laughs> Who can come and what can they do here? Um, the Idaho Art Lab is kind of five parts. So we have the maker space, which is my passion. That's getting the community in to realize they can be uh, working on a career in the creative industries by using our equipment. The equipment that's six, ten thousand dollar equipment they can do for three bucks an hour with a punch card. Once you've created it, then we have the gallery. We have just the main quad area here, which is just a free community center to come and use the tables if you have a project, you need bright light, you're a college kid with six people in your dorm and you, you need get space, away and paint. you want to get, you want to get, away, get away from the kids. Yeah. Um, and we have clubs and we teach English to the Hispanic community for free on Monday so we can learn. So there's just, just crazy random stuff. Um, How wonderful. Creation stations here for the kids as well. Good for you. Well, you and Daniel deserve a night out. So Ashley Furniture Yay! got you a gift card <laughs> to go have dinner and go to the movies. That's amazing. And then here's an Amazon card for you to buy stuff that you guys need. Wow. I know you'll probably use it for stuff in here because that's the type of people you are. Oh, but that's amazing. get yourself something special. You mentioned on the phone yesterday that you have an event coming up. Give a quick plug for that. All right. Big Art Expo. We have about uh, 25 different artists and artisans who will be here. It's a free event for the community. You just they're demonstrating to you all the art labs we have, and you can just come in and talk to them, see what they're doing, and maybe take a class if it's interesting to you. That's so, great. Um, and when is that? It's February 22nd from 2 to 5 p.m. And just you, a three hour event. And you have a website? We do, okay. IdahoArtLab.org. All right. So nonprofit, so it's a dot org. Check out that website if you want to help out, if you want to donate, if you want to come and paint and see what this is all about. It's a beautiful facility here. And we just have these wonderful people to thank, thank Kara you. and Daniel. Thank, thank you. you for this. That's You're amazing. Back. All right. <laughs> have a good weekend. It is Friday, and you know what that means. Time for Feel Good Friday. I'm Nate Eaton in St. Anthony today. Outside Excellence in Everyone. This is a developmental disabilities agency. It was founded around 10 years ago by a woman named Heather. She has, has a brother who has special needs, and she wanted a place for him to go where he could uh, use his talents and skills and work with others. And since then, the business has really boomed. And she's not in it to make money. In fact, she doesn't make a lot of money doing this, but this is a place where a lot of young adults come every day to be with others. I received an email recently from a man who said, this is one of the reasons why he moved to Eastern Idaho 
because of excellence in everyone. So we're gonna go inside and thank Heather for all she has done to help others. Heather, hello, how are you? Good. Good. I'm Nate with East Idaho oh, News. Yes. Good to see you. We came to do a do a little piece about what you guys do here. Can you give me a, a brief background as to why you opened up this place? Oh, we have the best job ever. So my brother has disabilities and we just wanted a safe place where he could go and learn to be independent and and we wanted it here in our community where we grew up. And this was 10 years ago, 10 or 11 12. years, uh -huh. 12 years ago, okay. Yeah. And so now it's turned into more than just your brother and you. Yeah, yeah, and my sister too, she owns it as well. Mm -hmm. And so we have, yeah, several clients and they come from Driggs and Rexburg and um, Ashton, yeah. So. Why, why do you do this? Oh, we just love the people. They are the best. Yeah. They really, really are. I'm sure you've learned a lot of lessons over the year, years, not only running your business, but I'm sure there's days that are ch more challenging than others. What are one or two of the things you've learned? Um, th well, they teach us a lot. We're here, we're supposed to be helping them, but they really do teach us a lot too. But we've learned patience and how much that they can do. Um, we've given the supports and things that they need. That's great. Well, we got an email from a guy who said, you guys are one of the main reasons he moved to Eastern Idaho. He sent us a link and said that, I guess every April you do something for Autism Awareness Month. And yeah. We wanted to come and thank you for Feel Good Friday. I know your sister's not here, but we got you each dinner and a movie. Oh my word. So you guys can go out and <laughs> spend some so time nice. together and thank you from us and Ashley Home Furniture and everybody else. Wow, wow, oh. that is very unexpected. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Glad we caught you. Oh right after yeah, lunch. sorry, you've been waiting for me. Oh I no, no, the it's fine. Been here for Thank you very much. Oh, Good to meet you. you. It is Friday and you know what that means. Time for Feel Good Friday. I'm Nate Eaton and we are in St. Anthony today about to surprise a couple, Al and Betty. They are actively involved in their community. In fact, they organize food drives for people that need food. They organize toy drives for little children at Christmas that might need a Christmas gift. And they are always doing whatever they can to help those around them. In fact, just a few weeks ago, they organized a food drive at Walmart and they brought in over 4,000 pounds of food and $1,500 in cash. All of that was taken to their church and they were able to distribute that food for people who needed it. Well, we wanted to thank Al and Betty with Ashley Home Furniture, so we got them some gift cards. We're gonna go over to their house and hopefully they'll be home. Hello. Hello. How are you? Are you Al? Yes, I am. Good to meet you. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Oh. Now tell me what you guys do with the, the toys at Christmas time. Um, we um, donate them to needy kids that come to our food bank. Um, also, we donated to the kids um, that came to our church services on Christmas Eve. This was the first year we've done this. And you guys also run the food bank, Al? We, we, we do work at the food bank. Uh, in fact, we work at two food banks. We work at the Upper Valley Food Bank in St. Anthony at the uh, Upper Valley Bible Church. And then we also have a mobile food uh, truck that comes by once a month. And we volunteer there, help distribute food there too. Why are you guys so involved? Why do you do all this? We're retired. We're giving back to the community. Yeah. You know, the community has served us well. We feel that we should be giving back. In the beginning, it started out as a bread ministry. So we only gave bread away. Yeah. And then it's evolved since then to um, we give away meat and vegetables and bread and, and desserts. Everybody's got to have a dessert. Al and I arranged a um, food drive last September mm -hmm. at Walmart. And um, thank you, Walmart. They. Um, by being able to have the food drive there, we brought in almost 4,000 pounds, 4, pounds of, of food wow. and um, about $1,500 in cash, Wow! which we also used to, for upkeep on the church, yep. some of it for plowing out the, the driveway, mm -hmm. um, whatever it needs to be used for, it gets used for. 
Well, we're so glad you guys are in our community. We wanted to come and thank you, and we brought you a gift from Ashley Furniture Home Store. Uh, do you ever use Amazon? I have I never used it. Amazon. Okay, well, do you know how to shop online? Do you have a computer yeah. or a phone? Um, our, our yeah, I've, I've shopped on Amazon. Okay, well there's a gift card, you can go on Amazon, and when your foot's all better, this is going to give you a night out to the movies and to go grab dinner. Oh, how so, nice. Wow. Thank you both so much, Al and Betty, it's a pleasure meeting you, and thank you for all you do to make our community better. Happy Friday everybody, Nate Eaton here outside of Idaho Falls High School. We received a really sweet email from one of the students here a few weeks ago asking us if we could honor the custodians here at the school. She said that they're underpaid, they're overworked, and they do the dirty jobs, of course, as all janitors do. And she specifically mentioned that on that particular day, a student had thrown up and the custodians respond and clean, and responded and cleaned it up without complaining. And they are always kind and they are always helping out. Well, we decided to make this student's wish come true. There's six custodians here that are full-time and one who is part-time for Feel Good Friday, we got them a night out. We're gonna send them out to dinner and then we're gonna send them to the movies. They don't know why we are here, but we understand the principal's calling them down to the office, at least the ones that are working right now. And we're gonna go thank them for all that they do. Hey, Jared. Jared, good to see you. I'm Angie. Angie, good to see you. Look, you're common, you're known as Miss Beard, right? Yes. So I wanna read you this letter we got, this note we got from a student. Here. A student? I'd like to tell you about the custodians at Idaho Falls High School for many reasons. They are super hardworking. Today a classmate threw up all over the floor and they had it cleaned up within 10 minutes. It's not a fun job at all, but they are sweet enough to do it even though they are underpaid. The girl custodian, I'm assuming that's you, <laughs> yes. so I'm sorry I don't know their names, always walks through the halls at lunch and offers to take our trash. The guy custodian, again, I'm sorry, I don't know their names, often comes into my art class and swaps out the towels and soap. They are super kind-hearted. <laughs> I don't know the custodians personally, but I do know that they are underpaid. I think they could really benefit from a visit. Oh, wow. So somebody here, you're making a difference to somebody, cleaning up throw up and emptying garbage cans. And we wanted to come and thank both of you and the other custodians uh, mm -hmm. for Feel Good Friday. So. We got you guys a night out all together. Hopefully you like each other. That's for, oh. that's for the, the group of you guys. <laughs> you can head out to dinner and then there's a bunch of movie tickets too that you can swing by and see a movie after. Wow. <laughs> so thanks for all you do. Thank well, you. Can I ask why you do what you do? I mean, what, what, what's your favorite part about your job? Well, now I was gonna start to cry. I see the students when they, when they get here, when they're a freshman. But then as they grow, when they become a senior, then they come and thank me because then it's their time. They get to go and live their life. They, they're grown and they leave high school. And I just, I'm glad I get to change their four years as they're growing. And some of the most formidable years of their lives as yes. they're growing up. And, yes. And how about you, Mr. Gunderson? I just like seeing them and they're all nice and polite to us. And help us out. Well, you guys probably are not thanked enough, but <laughs> one of the students here was so impressed that she took the time to send us an email. Oh, wow. So uh, thank you from her and from all of us, and we hope you have a good night out having some fun. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Friday, Nate Eaton here outside of a thrift store in Idaho Falls, and I have got a pocket with four gift cards here today that we want to give out randomly to people here in the parking lot. Feel Good Friday is all about doing kind things for others, and we're going to do that. We don't know who's going to get these gift cards, but we're going to approach a few shoppers here today, give them something fun to do on this weekend. There's some movie cards, some restaurant gift cards, and it's called the Happy Eats gift card. Hopefully we're going to make some people happy. How you doing, ma'am? Good, we're with East Idaho News. We're giving away gift cards today. You want one? Well, of course. No catches. There's a happy oh, yeah. eat. There's always a catch. There's no catch. No, this is for <laughs> Feel Good Friday. Go out and get yourself one of those places and have a good time. Sweet. There you go. I like cold stone. Well, go. Go get some ice cream then. It's a little cold for ice cream though, right? No. 
No? Never cold no. for ice cream. All right. <laughs> nice meeting you. Ma'am, can we talk to you? No, I bet you want to talk to us. We're giving away gift cards today. You want one? Uh, We're with East Idaho News. No catches. Are you sure? I'm sure. You want to go get ice cream with your mom? <laughs> or at Jamba Juice or something? There, that's from East Idaho News and Ashley Furniture. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy your day. So a few people think that, that we're con artists. They won't take the gift cards. They're like, no, we don't need them. We don't got to use them. I promise we're for real. How you doing, man? How are you? You waiting for somebody? No, I'm just sitting here looking at my phone. You want a gift card? Sure. We're giving out gift cards today. You, I'll let you choose. There's one to the movies, or there's a, a, there's a, you can use that at a bunch of different restaurants. I'll take the one for the movies. All right, yeah. there you go. Go see a movie. That's from Ashley Furniture in East Idaho News. Right on. All right, Thank you. take care. See you. How you doing? How are you? Good, how are you? What are you guys up to today? Uh, just going to look around and then drop some stuff off here. Yeah, well, do you want a gift card from East Idaho News and Ashley Furniture? Sure. We're giving them out. It's called Happy Eats. So go have a happy time. Appreciate Thank that. You. All right. Thank you. You bet. Good meeting you. you Take too. care. Have See ya. Sometimes all it takes is a little gift card to make somebody's day. And hopefully we did that here outside of this thrift store. Hey, if you have any ideas for Feel Good Friday, let me know. My email is neaton at eastidahonews.com. If there are people in the community you want us to honor, shoot me an email. Have a good weekend. Hey everybody, I'm Nate Eaton outside Sam's Club in Idaho Falls. It is time for Feel Good Friday and I want to tell you about the singing sweeper. Shiloh is his name and I recently received an email from one of you, one of the customers who came inside and said Shiloh is always smiling, he's always helpful and he sings when he helps people. So we decided to give Shiloh a Feel Good Friday surprise today. He's actually inside working right now and we learned it's his last week here at Sam's Club. He's moving on to another job, so we had to catch him before he leaves. So let's go surprise Shiloh. Hello, hey, how are you? Hey, how's it going? I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Oh my news. golly, there's cameras. Good to see you. How, Good to see how, you too. The floors look so clean. Thank you, thank you, I try my best. Well, we got an email from a customer who said, you need to go in and surprise Sh Shiloh for oh Feel Good gosh, Friday. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. She, she said, <laughs> he's always doing nice things for everybody. I guess you work in electronics? I do. You help her program a phone or something, or a computer or something? I no, I just I help sell TVs. You sell TVs. You're leaving this I week? I am. Yeah? Is this real? This is real, what oh are you doing? Gosh. Where, where are you going? I'm gonna be going to a dental office. Okay. Well, we wanted to come and thank you for Feel Good Friday. And before we have, we have a little gift for you, but before that, can you sing us a song? We understand that you're oh always no. singing. <laughs> no, I, can't. I don't know if I could. I'd yeah, get, I'm a little too embarrassed right now. Don't, don't be embarrassed. Because this guy's filming and this lovely lady's filming. And what, what would you normally sing? I just like to sing whatever, whatever yeah. comes to mind. Okay, nothing's coming to your mind? Well, uh, now that the pressure's on, yeah. it tends to disappear. Okay, well, we want to thank you for all the good you do here, not only for the people that come shop. So we're wow. going to give you a night out from Ashley Home Furniture for you and your, your wife or whoever you want. Uh, and actually, the, you can buy whatever you want online there. Head okay. over out to dinner. There's 25 on each of those, and then uh, movie pass. Wow. There you go. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. You're welcome. I guess you'll say, what can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl. Go ahead. Talking about my girl, my girl. Da -da. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, something like that. You've got a good voice. What are you silly. talking about? You don't have a voice. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Happy Friday, you know what that means. It's time for Feel Good Friday. I'm Nate Eaton and we are in Jefferson County today and I wanna tell you about a man named Kent Sperry. If you're from the area, you probably have heard from him on your birthday because he is known for calling people on their birthdays every day of the year. Hundreds and hundreds of people. He has a list, he calls them up. Not only that, he spends over $500 a month on donut holes and he takes the donut holes to those people who are celebrating. He has impacted so many lives. He's made so many birthdays better. And even though it's not his birthday today, we're gonna go thank him for Feel Good Friday with a few gift cards and hopefully he can know that he's making a difference. Hey, how you hey, doing? What are you doing? <laughs> we're, we're, I guess we're missionaries for the news. Are you Mr. Sperry? I am. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Good to see you. 
Man. Did you really think we were the missionaries? I really did. I, <laughs> I, I'm a diabetic now. I, I can't see oh, it all. Well, you know, we're here actually for our Feel Good Friday segment. Somebody told us about you. Somebody said that you call everybody in Ryrie when it's their birthday. Well, not everybody, a few people. You're doing a lot of a lot of good stuff and people have told us about you. We, we've actually tried it for a few times to come and catch you home oh, well. because you always are on the go. What do you do all day? Well, I, I volunteer at the Ryrie Senior Center on Tuesday and Friday. You can come and have meals with us there. All, everybody there, I, I found out a couple birthdays there too. It's, it's just a blessing in my life that uh, I love to do that. Every month, how many people do you think you you not surprised? Every month? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, most days it's at least three or four. You, you you go visit them and bring them donuts. Well, yeah, and there's a lot of people now that, you know, I, and see, I'm gonna ask your birthday too, so I can put you on my list. April fourteenth. Oh man, that's that's right by tax day. That's right. I was. So when's the cameraman's? When's your uh, birthday? March 11th, so I'm like, man, you're coming right days. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you've inspired so many people. We wanted to bring you a gift. I don't have donut holes for you, but I did want to give you a night out from Ashley Furniture so you can you can go out for dinner. There's some a gift card. You could just go buy whatever. I don't know if they sell donuts, but they do sell <laughs> treats. And then this is a happy birthday card. Holy I know God. it's not your birthday, but you help make so many other people's birthdays. You can use that anywhere on there. It's so good to meet you. Thanks for all you've done for everybody. You're inspiring people, and we're glad we caught you home today because, as I said, we've been here a time or two, and you we're gone yeah. taking people donuts. Happy Friday, everybody. I am Nate Eaton with EastIdahoNews.com. If you've been following the news lately, you probably have heard that Smith's in Idaho Falls is closing next month. And there's one worker who's been here for 40 years. Teresa Moore began working at this grocery store behind me back in 1980. And we're gonna go surprise her and thank her for her four decades of work here at Smith's. She's actually working in the floral department today. And with the help of Ashley Furniture, we got her an early Easter gift, a bunch of candies in there, along with some gift cards to go have dinner and go to a movie. She doesn't know that we are coming, the managers do, so let's go surprise her. Thanks for huddling around. I'm actually gonna lead the huddle today. <laughs> and we're here to surprise one of you. This woman right here, <gasps> Teresa. <laughs> That's for, for our Feel Good Friday Why segment. did they tell me how to put my makeup on? You look good. <laughs> Ter Teresa, how long have you worked here? 39 years. 39 years. Are you the longest serving employee? No. Who is? Oh, how long have you been here? Almost 41. 41, so how long has the store been open? 43. Wow, so what are your thoughts with it closing down? A lot of memories here. Yeah, yeah, don't make me cry. <laughs> yeah. And you, 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 were, you were what, two when you started back in 1980? Three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> I guess these guys have probably- 1981 I started, yeah. 81, and these guys have probably become like family to you. Yes, yeah. and I had my babies working here and everything, so yeah, it's been, it's been great. Well, one of our one of your customers wrote us and said you should go surprise Teresa oh, at yeah? Smith's for Feel Good Friday. So we got you something. No, I didn't. I purposely didn't get you flowers. Okay. An early Easter gift with a bunch of candy and then a night out to go to the movies and have dinner. Oh. And there you go. Well, thanks. So did you have another 40 years in you? You are a good eating guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 40 years at Fred Meyer? No. No. Four. Four more years so you can retire. Yeah. Good. Well, thanks for letting us surprise you, and I'm sure all of these guys love you and appreciate you, and we'll, we'll miss you. we'll miss seeing you here at Smith. Well, thanks whoever did this. Yeah, thank your customer because obviously thank you've you, made, customer. You, you've made all of you. You've made a difference, and we'll see you at, down the street. At Fred well, Meyer. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you have enjoyed your week at home. 
isolated and keeping nice and healthy, I want to tell you about a woman named Michelle who we are going to go surprise today. Michelle is a single mother of three children. She graduates from college in this spring coming up and she plans to go to law school to study women and children advocacy. Michelle just learned that she was selected to represent BYU-Idaho in New York City at the United Nations 64th session of the Commission of the Status of Women. She will go and present, hopefully, unless it's been canceled, we'll have to find out from her. But she is doing a lot to raise her family. She's doing a lot to help her neighbors and her community. And we feel like she could use a little Feel Good Friday break. We got her a few gift cards to restaurants that have drive throughs so she won't have to go in and sit down in those dining rooms. Also, a movie card for when the movies open, hopefully soon. So let's go surprise Michelle. Michelle? How are you? Yeah. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. I won't shake your hand. I'll elbow bump you. Are you guys in quarantine? <laughs> yes. We're here for our Feel Good Friday segment. Oh my so gosh. Someone told us about you that you had been selected to go to the UN Conference yes. on Women. Is that still happening now with everything? You know what? It actually was canceled. Oh um, man. Last week. So, so what was it? Um, it was the, gosh, um, the Commission on the Status of Women for the 25th anniversary for the Beijing document. So we were supposed to be able to go and I was going to present on a panel for toxic masculinity, but how healthy men promote the family. I would have been getting home today. Oh. So. Instead you're home with the kids. I'm home with the kids. We actually went to Boise instead and went to the legislative session. Oh, great. Met with a few of the representatives, Barbara E. Hart and um, Julianne Young. Okay. So. That's great. Yeah. Well, I also understand that you do a lot of other nice things, helping out your neighbors and people in the community <laughs> while you're going to school full time, right? Uh, and raising yeah. your family. Yeah. <laughs> so we wanted to do something for you from Ashley Furniture and uh, we got oh you a few gosh. gift cards. Oh I know I know you're not supposed to go out to eat, but these guys have drive throughs oh So you can head. go to those drive throughs There's one there. There's one there. You can get a book while you're in quarantine. Wow. Shop online from home. And once the movies do open, you can schedule a, a show to go oh out. <laughs> So, oh my goodness, thank so, you so much. You are a hard woman to catch. This is our third time to your house in the past three <laughs> weeks, but we're glad you guys are home. Are you liking being home from school? Yeah. Yeah? You're gonna probably be ready to go back soon though, right? I hate school. You hate school? <laughs> well, it's nice to have some interaction with people at yeah, least. Work yeah, on yeah, you still gotta do your work. Yeah, All right, well you guys right now, stay so. healthy and safe and we'll let you get back to it. And uh, thanks for all you do to make our community better. Oh my goodness, thank yeah, you so much. All right, elbow bump. Coronavirus. There we go, yeah, there you go. There you Bye guys. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, yeah, you got it. There you go. All right, <laughs> take care, see you thank guys. You. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you are surviving the COVID-19 pandemic. Do you have toilet paper? It's one of the big questions on everybody's mind, it seems. And if you go to the grocery store, you're gonna have a problem finding it. At least that's been the case the past two weeks. Well, don't worry because today we have you covered for Feel Good Friday. We were able to secure a couple of cases of toilet paper from Sam's Club, and we're gonna go drop these off to people all throughout Eastern Idaho. And of course, we came up with a witty little message. Don't let coronavirus wipe you out. You're in, you're in our thoughts from EastIdahoNews.com and Ashley Home Furniture. So we are going to go place these on people's porches so that we maintain the social distances. We're gonna randomly leave these on doorsteps. We have a few treats buried in here some take five candy bars so you can take five and try to enjoy the moment for everybody. So um, let's go TP some houses. We got a message that a kid had surgery just a few days ago, so his parents are trying to stay home and avoid going out. We got him some TP and some treats. Let's go give it to him. We brought you some toilet paper and some treats for your son. Take care. 
This guy wrote in and said, I have three kids, I need toilet paper. We're gonna give him some. You need toilet paper? We're giving it away. We're gonna keep our distance because of the virus, but there's some toilet paper and some candy bars. You bet. Take care. So we got a message about this next woman we're going to go surprise who, um, she uh, has a flat tire. She can't leave the house. She lives in the senior facility. So again, we're going to be careful and just leave this on her doorstep with some treats and walk away so we don't have any contact. Thank you so much. You bet. T take care. We just got a message from a woman that says she just got home last week with her two month old from the NICU. They need toilet paper. We're gonna go give them some. Do you guys need toilet paper? Did you get some at the store? They didn't have any? Well, we brought you some. Here you go. You bet. Take care. See you later. Well, we have just given out 15 rolls of toilet paper. Luckily, we were able to take three of the mega packs and split it up so that 15 people now have toilet paper who didn't have it a few hours ago. Uh, I wish we could get to more of you, but as you know, it's hard to find. So big thanks to Ashley Furniture for helping us give people toilet paper today for Feel Good Friday. We hope you have a great weekend and are able to uh, take care of everything you need to as we all remain in isolation. See ya. Happy Friday, everybody. Nate Eaton here at Crumble Cookie, maintaining a six foot distance from the guy holding the camera. You know, there are a lot of people that are pretty, uh, going through some hard times right now, as we know of, and some people that just need some cheering up. So today we have just walked in and we purchased 150 cookies that we are about to drop off at the Temple View Assisted Living Facility. This is a place where old people are living. They, of course, cannot leave. They cannot have any visitors come and go. They're basically on lockdown like so many other places. So we're gonna drop these cookies off at the door. The staff will said that they'll deliver them to the residents there and we'll give some to the staff and they can pass along a little bit of cheer on this Friday and hopefully let them know that we are thinking about them and that we appreciate them. Hello, this is Randy. Randy, hey, Nate Eaton at East Idaho News. How are you? Good, how are you, Nate? Good, did your staff fill you in on what we are hoping to do today? I heard that you were bringing some cookies or refreshments in somehow for the staff and the residents. Yes, we, we, we would be happy to just leave them at the door. That's just very thoughtful. Thank you. Thank you for thinking of doing that. Oh, it's the least we could do. How How is everybody handling all this? This has got to be so challenging for you guys. You, you know what? Um, I, I really expected the residents to be uneasy, frustrated with everything, but doing amazingly well. Uh, their families are very supportive on, on not uh, visiting. Uh, I mean, it, it really has been pretty amazing. Oh, that's great. And tell you what, the unsung heroes in all this are those healthcare workers. Uh, not only locally, of course, nationally, we see in the, the videos and the, the footage, they're, they're just, you know, doing their all to help those people. And and so it's the least we can do, like I said, to drop these off. I just wanted to clear it with you guys and make sure you're good. And, and if you just want to pass, pass around our love to all the residents and the uh, nursing staff. We'll get through this. 
things will be okay. I'm Nate Eaton. Have a good weekend. Hey everybody, Nate Eaton. Hope you are ready for the weekend. Time for Feel Good Friday today. I want to read you an email I got this week. It says, during this time, we all look for moments that make us smile. My husband and I are truck drivers that are constantly moving from the East Coast to the West Coast making deliveries. Today, as we were at the Love's Truck Stop in Idaho Falls, we saw this outside our windshield. Two amazing women driving through the entire truck stop, giving truck drivers free gift bags full of goodies. This is what makes this country great. Well, we agreed and we thought we would track down the women behind these trucker snacks. We actually were able to find them on Facebook. They think I'm coming over to do a news story about them. So they're not completely surprised. What they don't know is we're going to thank them for Feel Good Friday. Dad, tell me where you came up with this idea. So my husband's a driver for a local company here, and he kind of saw the need out on the road of drivers were having a hard time finding food and places to park and things like that. And um, we talked about it one weekend a couple weeks ago, and on Monday I just decided I'm going to see what I can do about it. So I posted something on Facebook on my page, and uh, within a day I had Doug Andrus trucking on board. I had Blackhawk Barbecue on board. I had um, several hundred dollars coming into my Venmo account, and I had drop-offs on my porch. So I was like, I need to do something. And it just kind of, honestly, it hasn't been too stressful. It kind of just seamlessly kind of started happening. And this is our third week doing it. So I just told everybody, as long as I have funds to do the bags, I will keep making them. And this is a thing where if the trucker pulls up, you just hand him, the, hand him a bag. Yeah. Yeah, we take the safety precautions of COVID. Yeah. We just want every trucker to know like how awesome they are. And a lot of them are saying, well, it's just my job. I'm just doing my job. But they're going above and beyond because they're working longer hours than normal. They're away from their families. They're sacrificing a lot. And I just wanted to help those that are helping us. How long do you wait at the truck stops? Um, you know, we've been at the truck stops from like 11 to 6. Oh, wow. Uh, like, it's like an all day endeavor sometimes for us um, because, you know, there's slow times when the trucks come in. We get a lot of drivers at night when they're tired and they, you know, they give a bag and they just, they're so happy. Yeah. So. Well, this is, this is a, a cool thing. And obviously one of our viewers thought that you had, were, done a, were doing a good thing is do we. So we wanted to thank you for Feel Good Friday as well. Oh, thank you. And so we brought you some gift cards that you can spend on yourself. Oh, that's so Knowing thoughtful. you, you'll probably fill up these bags, I but think well. um, you can use that. And those should all be drive-throughs or online only places. So awesome. you can order stuff online. Thank you so much. You bet. What would you say to people watching that might want to get involved? You are still accepting donations. Absolutely. So we have the, um, go to Idaho Falls Truck or Treats on Facebook. I have a list of things that I put in my bags. I also have my Venmo, so people can Venmo money if they'd like to, to help with the cause. Um, they can direct message me if they'd like to drop off items. Um, but the more publicity that we get about this, the more that I can help truckers do this. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you are ready for the weekend. I'm Nate Eaton and it's time for Feel Good Friday. I don't know about you, but lately my wife and I have been picking up our school lunches for our kids from the local school a couple days a week. And these lunch ladies are out every day in the cold, in the rain, and the snow, which we've had lately. They're doing whatever they can to make sure your children get fed. So we decided to thank them today for Feel Good Friday. We have some gift cards that we've put in envelopes. We have our social distancing microphone so that I can hopefully do a few interviews. And we're just gonna drive by some random schools, give these ladies the gift cards, and thank them for keeping our kids fed. Hi ladies, how's the lunch pickup going? Good. Yeah, the two of you today? Yes. Yeah, how many How many people do you normally see? Uh, about 240 here at this location. Oh wow, Yeah. And, and you guys normally work in a school? I, I'm normally here at this school, she's okay. brand new. She'll be joining me next year. Okay. But I'm the, I'm the lunch cashier here at this school. 
What a time to start. <laughs> did you start before all this? Uh, no, I did. So you started for this? Uh-huh. Yeah. So do you guys have uh, any message you want to have to parents or students that haven't come to pick up their stuff? Just know that we're here Monday through Friday. Um, it's District 91 is um, 9 a.m. to 11, and we serve all kids 1 to 18. And we just got a waiver put through that you don't have to have your kids with you. We just have to be your first and last name. Just pick it up. Yep. Well, we wanted to thank you guys for Feel Good Friday. Oh. So we brought you each some gift cards. Well, thank they're you. in that envelope, <laughs> and they're places you can go to oh, drive oh, to drive through. Thank you so much. So you can get other food after you're done here. Yeah, I love you, but oh, we'll just wave. <laughs> we'll elbow tap. There you go. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, guys. Good morning. How are you? What's for lunch today? Taco cups. Well, we are out thanking lunch ladies today for Feel Good Friday. We brought you some gift cards inside the envelope. They've been cleaned and disinfected. <laughs> so that's you. for you. And then is that your colleague over there? Yes. All right, we'll leave that one here for her too. How often are you guys out here? We're out here every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday, and we're here nine to 11. And how many parents generally come by? Any idea? Uh, we have, yes, we have, it depends on the school, but this school does about 300. Oh, wow, that's not bad. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, don't want to lose those. Well, thank you for staying out here. I'm sure you've seen all kinds of weather. We have. Today is very cold. Yeah, but last week was beautiful. I know it. Yes. I think next week it'd be better, too. Yeah. Thanks all right. So well, much. thanks for all you do to keep the kids fed. Oh, we love it. Take care. Okay. We'll see you. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton with EastIdahoNews.com. You've probably seen in the news lately a bunch of different things happening at retirement homes and different care facilities. Obviously, people inside these facilities cannot leave because of COVID-19, but entertainers have been coming to entertain them outside on the grass or through the windows. Well, we recently learned about Champs Hearts. This is an older gentleman who has battled cancer, who has two miniature ponies, and he's been taking these ponies around to brighten people's days. He goes outside of their windows. They're able to look through the windows and see the animals and get a little bit of warmth and encouragement. Well, we decided to thank Larry and his ponies for Feel Good Friday. We got some carrots for the little ponies, some baby carrots for the baby ponies. We also got Larry some gift cards to some local businesses here in Eastern Idaho so they can go support them. We're on our way right now. It's raining. Hopefully we can still catch him though and give him a Feel Good Friday. So this is uh, Dr. McCullicuddy. He's a four-year-old miniature horse. He'll, ne he'll never get any bigger. Uh, and this is Peggy Sue. Turn Peggy Sue around, Debbie. This is Peggy Sue. Uh, she's uh, 12. And uh, somebody saw me give a presentation last May at the hospital about my program. And Doc was all by himself with these all these bigger horses. And they thought he needed a girlfriend. So a lady donated donated uh, Peggy Sue to my program. Tell me why, why, what you guys have been doing with these with these animals lately. Just lately, uh, we've been uh, uh, going to uh, some nursing homes. The uh, Rolla residents came up to the uh, to the uh, windows and were um, looking out and smiling and waving and showing me signs. And I such bet they and, loved it. Oh, they did. Yep. Why did you? Why do you guys do this? Well. Uh, my program is called Champ's Heart. I was a Lutheran pastor up on Sunnyside and, uh, and uh, Fifth Street, rolling debt for 16 years. I got cancer and uh, got my treatment for a summer in Salt Lake City. I'm in remission now. And I couldn't do that work anymore full time. So I, I wanted to use my horses to uh, bless other people. What we do is I've got a program for children with special needs. And when we when we shut down uh, with this virus thing, yeah. we were up to almost 80 children a week and 30 35 families a week. Oh my gosh. And so we're waiting to get started again, and we're just hanging out. So you waiting. do it all out of the kindness of your heart. It's all free for everybody that comes. That all is free. incredible. 
people, well, people donate and, and such, so. We want to give the carrots to the courses, but we got you, you guys something too. Oh no. For our Feel Good Friday oh, okay. uh, segment. Okay. We got you a bunch of gift cards to some local oh, businesses. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hey. Uh, there's some to the pizza place. Oh, love that. $50 there. There's $30 to the ice cream store. Oh, yeah, I really need that. Yeah, and there's $30. <laughs> you can go get a burger oh, or okay. whatever. You well, can keep excellent. them all in there. Yeah, That's thank you. Ashley Furniture. We like to recognize people doing good, and this guy probably wants to get back. No, no, he's little. just always, he sees your carrots oh, wants more. Oh, does he want more? Come here, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for doing this yeah. and coming out and meeting us in the rain. Absolutely. Happy Friday, everybody. I am Nate Eaton. We are in Shelly. I've got flowers. I've got a big bag of candy and a bunch of gift cards. That must mean it's time for Feel Good Friday. I want to read you an email I got a few weeks ago about a woman named Missy who lives here in Shelly. She has been buying packaging and handing out 400 breakfast and lunches a day to children and elderly in Shelly. She started doing this because she had seen a very high need for it and the school did not start handing out their meals until March 30th. So she wanted to bridge the gap. She goes around town everywhere she can to try to find enough food and then her three teenage kids help set up and pack the lunches. They then get volunteers to hand them out at different places throughout Shelley and she'll even deliver them to people's doors if they can't get out of their homes. Missy is a real life hero to so many people in the community. This is just one thing she has done. Obviously the school district has been serving lunch over the last few weeks. So this was done over a few week period of time. She spent thousands of dollars of her own money to make the lunches happen. So we wanna thank her. Again, I got her some flowers. I got the kids a big bag of candy from Ashley Home Furniture. And then we have some gift cards to some local businesses that hopefully they can go out and support. So let's go surprise Missy. Hi, is Missy here? Oh yes, she's right here. Missy, hi. hi. How are you? Good. I'm going to stick out this mic if that's okay. Perfect. <laughs> I'm with East Idaho News. Okay. How's your day going? Pretty good. It's we got an email day. about you. You've been pretty okay. busy over the past few weeks. You know, just doing my part. <laughs> what, what have you been doing? Um, I Just helping oh. out. Oh. We just did oh. a community service oh. and you know, oh. saw a gap, so we filled it. Yeah, talk about oh. talk about that gap. I mean, this wasn't just the one thing here or there, right? This was hundreds of lunches. Um, it was. So, you're you're talking about the lunch program, obviously. Yeah. Um, it started out as I just when the schools announced that they were ending quickly. It was pretty abrupt here in Shelley, um, and I knew that lunches are a big deal to some kids in this area. We we've lived in this area a long time. We know what the need is, yeah. um, and so we. I just decided we had to do something. So the idea came, and we ran with it, and how it many, went well. How many lunches over the? How long did you do it? Two or three um, weeks? We. It feels like a lifetime ago. I can't even remember now. So I think we did it for two weeks. Okay. It was two weeks because we were out a week before spring break. They don't normally do the lunch program ever over spring break and then the school was able to start up. So yeah. um, so it was about a week and a half, two weeks and then the school took it over. So. And you got your kids involved. I got my kids involved. I got my sister-in-law involved. She's my partner in crime. I said, hey, I have an idea. And she's like, okay. And so we did it. And did you do this all with your own money, out of your own pocket? No, I didn't. We have an amazing community. Like I, when I got the idea, um, I, I was like, I don't know how we're gonna do this. But I put a call out on Facebook and I had about half of the funds that we needed within about 48 hours. Oh my so gosh. It was pretty quick, it was pretty awesome. How much money did you end up putting into it? Um, it was it was pretty expensive, it was almost eight grand. Wow, so, yeah. for two weeks of lunches. For two weeks of lunches. So that's hundreds of lunches, thousands? We did almost 4,000 lunches oh my in gosh. that time. It was pretty awesome. And you had volunteers that would go in to different stops, right? We did, we did. So we actually had, um, when I put the call out, I had the gal that is over uh, the Just Serve app in our area. Mm -hmm. She called and she said, I can organize this for you and get a sign-up sheet going. And I said, go for it. That's great. And so she did that. And I think we it was full almost in 24 hours. It was full for the whole week and a half. 
So Incredible. that's pretty awesome. Well, pretty we wanted cool. to thank you for Feel Good Friday Aww, today. Ashley awesome. Furniture sent us over. We got you some flowers that oh, are, are fresh and smell very uh, oh, fresh. Very and fresh. And then you know awesome. you have kids, so there's oh, 145 yeah. Yeah. pieces of candy. Oh my gosh. And then we got you a bunch of gift cards to some local businesses that you Seriously? can take to. A lot of these do takeout. Um, oh, awesome. But you can support the local businesses, take okay. your family out to dinner and enjoy that's it. That's so cool. You guys are awesome. Well, thank this you. So cool. Thank you for all you did. Yeah. I like your shirt. That oh, sounds thanks. like your motto in life. Pretty much. Yes. Pretty much me. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, please thank your kids and thank everybody who, who helped with this program. Yeah, because. we. I could not have done it alone. I might have had the crazy idea, but I put it out there and it took a lot of help. A yes. lot of help. So it showed my kids that, you know, you just be a helper. You don't, you can't just sit around and wonder what's going to happen. You just got to get up and do. So that's Good what for we you. did. It is Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton here in the lobby of East Idaho News, and it is time for Feel Good Friday. We have kind of a unique one today. Let me start off by reading you this email that I got just a few weeks ago. On April 11th, Chris Christensen stopped to help a stranded lady on Yellowstone Highway between Shelley and Idaho Falls. The woman had stayed there all night without a blanket or even a coat. She wasn't parked in a manner that appeared like she was in distress but it breaks my heart to think of somebody staying there without getting any help. She thought she could turn on the heater to stay warm, but the truck died. Chris stopped to meet his wife as she was headed out to a 12 hour shift at the hospital. Next thing he knew, a woman walked up and asked if he had a phone charger. She came out of the truck that she had been in overnight through freezing temperatures. She had no coat and no blanket and only a pair of ski pants. She was cold and hungry. He felt bad that she hadn't been discovered sooner. He was going to go home to get a tow strap and his truck to tow her to a shop in Idaho Falls. But she didn't seem to know how to be towed. So Chris called his brother Flint, who's a tow truck driver, to see if he had the equipment that was needed to tow her car. Flint just happened to be home from driving truck and was able to come and help. But now, at that point, there was the stay-at-home order, so there were no hotels or anywhere where this woman could stay while her car was being fixed. So Flint loaded up her car, gave her some food, and drove her all the way back to Alpine, Wyoming. It was a miracle that for some reason, Chris stopped at that very spot to meet his wife, that Flint just happened to be home from driving and happened to have the very items that was needed to get this woman home safe. They would never toot their own horn, but I think it would be great if you could share this with the community. Well, we agree, so here's what we've done. Chris runs a shop that repairs windshield glass and one of our vehicles has a cracked windshield. So I've called and asked him if he can come here to give us an estimate to repair the window. What he doesn't know is we're gonna go out and meet him with a camera rolling and we're gonna thank him for what he's done. We got him some gift cards to his favorite restaurant uh, and we also got a gift card for his brother Flint that they can both take their wives out to dinner. We got them some movie cards because apparently they love going to the movies and hopefully in a few weeks, the theaters will be back open. So right now we're just watching and waiting for Chris to show up. Okay, there's Chris. I think he just showed up. Rock chip repair. Let's go out, let's go surprise him. How you doing? Yeah, and we actually brought you down here for another reason. We do want our window looked at. Okay. But we heard that a few weeks ago, you did something for a woman who was stranded on the highway. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> well, on, uh, right on the county line, Bonneville, Bingham County line, there was a truck. And my wife's a nurse at the hospital, and I was uh, trying to see her I hadn't seen her all day wasn't gonna see her all night yeah so I told her that I'd meet her there I had my 10 year old son with me and when we got out all of a sudden we were waiting watching for, watching for her mm -hmm. and uh, all of a sudden I heard this voice say uh, excuse me do you have a, a car charger I can use and I'm like have you been in this truck this whole time and she had so I called my brother and I said hey can you come help me tell this lady in Idaho Falls 
into a, to a shop where she can get it looked at. But it was Saturday night, so she was still 36 hours before any shops were open. She lived in Alpine, and so we thought- Alpine, Wyoming. Yeah. And so we thought, we can't leave her in Idaho Falls with nowhere to stay. So we just had a road trip, and- How long's the drive to Alpine? Um, about an hour and a half if you're not towing the truck behind you. Yeah. So the, the whole ordeal was about six hours. What was her reaction like the, when you said, we're gonna take you home? She, there was, she was kind of shocked, kind of how I feel now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but she was kind of shocked and she uh, was turning down as much help as she could. We offered her dinner and she says, well, no, I'm okay. And I said, are you lying to me? And she said, no, I'm okay. And I'm like, okay, we're buying you dinner. And so, um, and then when we got to her place, we got the truck unloaded and pushed into her garage. And then she wanted to give it, like she offered us her TV, like oh. the sitting on her. I mean, to, to pay you back. Yeah, she's like, here's a TV. We're like, no, no, we're oh, good. Oh, wow. Well, good for you. We heard about it. Someone told us, so we want to buy you dinner. And your brother, who's who's working, I understand. He's out of state today. Yes. So we got you guys. I Someone told us that this is your favorite restaurant or one of your favorites. Yes. Texas Roadhouse. And then the movies aren't open, but I understand you guys like to go out for movie, go yeah. see the movies. There's some movie cards when they do open, or you can use those any anywhere else on that on that card. Sweet. So is this for, is this that's for, for Feel Good Friday. That's for, oh yeah, for if you want to, yeah, or okay. I guess you could keep him, but he might see this video and say, <laughs> <laughs> where's like mine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton, and we are about to surprise the man who runs Fat Geek Computers. We heard about him a few weeks ago. As he is running his business, he is also taking old computers, fixing them up, and giving them to families in need. Families that might have multiple children, but only one computer, and of course, all those kids need to do their schoolwork. So he has repaired over 12 to 15, nearly 20 computers for those families in need. He doesn't charge them anything, and he accepts donations, so he's spending his time helping those in our community, and we wanna thank him. Now, he's home right now. We've checked in with a neighbor, and they've made sure that he is home so that we can go surprise him. We got him a few gift cards to uh, he can use on Amazon, which, of course, a lot of people on computers use. Also, some gift cards to some local restaurants that he can take his family out to. Let's go surprise him. Hi, how are you? Are you Kim? Kimmy, yeah. Kim, Kimmy, is yeah. uh, Monty here? Yes, he just a minute. Thank right? you. Hey Monty, there. hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm Nate with East Idaho yeah. News. Good to see you. How's the computer repairs going? Busy, busy. Yeah? Yeah. That's actually why we're here. Oh, yeah? Someone told us that you have been fixing up computers and giving them to families in need that don't have them. Yeah, well, um, I've been taking um, older notebooks and desktops and all-in-ones um, that really aren't super functional because they're a little slow. Mm -hmm. And then I put Chrome OS on them so that kids can use them as Chromebooks. Then we give them to kids that have like, people that have six kids and one computer or two computers or Yeah, that people kind of that thing. need to do their schooling and don't have enough yeah. access to it. Yeah. So what, what made you decide to do this? My wife's a teacher and the kids don't all have computers. And, yeah. and so, you know, just, I got, used ones that people don't want anymore and I'm just like might as well do it that's great you could be spending your time though you know trying to make money or, or build your business on the side oh yeah it's not that hard I mean it's just a matter of cleaning them up upgrading a few parts and throwing in the OS on there and then always try to make them report back that everything's okay and yeah so. well and for these families that's got to be make, make a huge difference because oh, if, you don't, so. if you don't have a computer you can't be learning yeah yeah I had a couple I, you know I had a couple I just told people about and then um, I had another teacher that said oh I got this one of my high school students they don't have a single computer and I'm like got them one and you know trained it's hard finding enough machines but you, sure. know, you know I think we've given out about 16. oh wow so geez 
Well, we wanted to come and thank you for Feel Good Friday. Oh, no problem. So we brought you some thank gift you cards. Thank you for all your good investigative work. Oh, uh, well, there's there's some Amazon <laughs> oh, cards. Yeah. Uh, you probably do a lot of computer shopping. Oh, yeah, no you kidding. You can stock up. And there's some dinner to cards, that. too, once that's open. Well, that's from Ashley Furniture, and we like to oh, thank, thank people you. in our community for doing good stuff. And so... Well, that's really nice of There you. you go. Now, if anybody's watching and they want to donate an old system, are you taking them? Yeah. Um, it, the best ones to have are laptops. Okay. Um, you know, if they're somewhere between, oh, I'd say 10 and 8 years old, you know, or, or you know, it could be a little newer. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if it's much older than 10 or 12 years, then it gets a little too old. Okay. But, you know, if yeah, if anybody's got a laptop that works, even if the battery doesn't stay charged, um, that doesn't really matter because they're just sitting there working on them. They sure. don't need to be carrying it around. Yeah. Which I don't encourage them to do anyways. They always break them, kids, yeah. you know. So. so just contact Fat Geek Computers. Yeah, just give me a call and, and we'll get them in and then recondition them. I've got one I'm working on right now that my uncle donated, in fact. And that's great. So, that's great. Yeah. All yeah, right. Anything to help out the kids, you know. That's, and they're, they're free of charge. You know, we'll just put them, we put them out on um, either our Facebook page or on the COVID support local business page I usually say here and then like a whole bunch of people so come up and then we give them to whoever we can get them to and we ask that you know if you have you know enough computers that you're okay now that's fine but we're you know we're really looking for anybody that doesn't have enough for their kids so that one or two computers I mean one or two kids can work on one computer you know that's the kind of we're trying to get that to those kind of people or if you don't have any at all that kind of thing how cool. Well, good for you. Thank you very much, Monty. Well, thank you. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton outside the North Bingham County Historical Park. I'll be honest, I didn't even know this place existed until I received an email a few days ago telling me about Mike and Joan Winston. Mike basically is the man behind this whole park. He taught school for 30 years, 20 of those years here in Shelley. And every year he would bring out his students and they would do a new project. Look around here. You see all these buildings? Mike is responsible for getting these buildings up and going. And you can bring your family out here for free and check out some of the historical items here in Eastern Idaho. Mike's here today with his wife. They're putting in gardens, making sure that the gardens look nice. So we wanted to thank him. Ashley Home Furniture got him some gift cards. Let's go surprise him. How you doing? We're looking for Mike. Came to the right place. Mike, how are you? I'm with East Idaho News, by the way. My name's Nate. Hey there, Nate. Yes, and this is Rhett. Hello, Rhett. So, did you build this place? Uh, me and my students in the community family yeah. started it. It's just been going on since. You taught at Hobbs Middle, right? In the high school and the high school. Mm -hmm. So take me back to when you decided to build a historical park. I'm not talking very well, but uh, when we first moved here, we saw an old one-room school up in the hills. We thought it would be a good project for students to move it down and restore it turn it into a museum. That was about 20 years ago. Wow. And we just kept adding buildings and facilities after that. So this has been here for 20 years. You've gradually added on to it. Yeah, every year we had a new building or so. Wow. And this is all because of your love of history? Uh, we just thought it would be good for students in the community. How wonderful. Well, we wanted to uh, thank you for all you've done with our Feel Good Friday segment. So we brought some gift cards from Ashley Furniture for you. And um, because you love to garden so much, hopefully that can get you some gardening supplies or some plants or whatever. And then there's a gift card that you can go to, go to dinner with your wife or your kids, whatever you want to do with that. Thank you very much. You bet. Thank you for all this. I was, like I said, I didn't know that this seat was even here, and I don't know if a lot of people know about it. And take a look at the gardens. That's our latest venture. Yeah. How long are you going to keep doing? Are you going to keep expanding this? Depends on my health and my family. Yeah.
Well, thank you very much, Mike. It's a pleasure meeting you. I'll give you an elbow bump there. <laughs> thank you. Is this your wife? Yeah. All right. How are you? I'm Nate. Hi. And what's your name? Joan. So, Joan, you've been spending 20 years here as well. I have. I yeah? have. Yes. Yes. At first, it was supporting Mike and his efforts because it's really about kids. It's about projects that are good for kids. Yeah. And he wanted to give them real life experiences. And after he finished the schoolhouse, and I thought, phew, we made it. And he <laughs> said, no, this is good. Let's keep going. And so we do. We have kept it up. And, and so there's the schoolhouse, the, the chicken coop, right? Yes, uh, we have a general store. We have Sons of the Utah Pioneers brought the Kirkpatrick cabin up from Blackfoot, mm -hmm. which is the oldest cabin in the valley. Uh, then we have a sheep camp, a covered wagon, a mining camp, um, a school bus, an old-fashioned uh, horse-drawn school bus, plus, um, plus the gardens and the barn, six stall barn that the Shelley shop kids did and the welding class did the iron on the stalls. So it, it really is all about developing your skills and then giving back to your community. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton outside Wood Funeral Home in Ammon, and we are about to thank one of the workers. She actually runs the crematory here. Her name is Nicole, and one of you anonymously sent me an email telling me all about Nicole. She's overcome a lot of challenges in her life to go on to, to hold this job here at the funeral home. She's incredibly gifted in the way that she deals with families who are dealing with death, and she comes to work every day with a smile on her face and a positive attitude. There's a whole lot more we could say about Nicole, but we want to go in and surprise her. Ashley Furniture wants to give her some gift cards. She loves to go to get the soda shop and get flavored soda. So we have a $50 gift card for her from Ashley to pick me up. We also have $50 for her to go to a, the coffee shop and get her morning beverage to get her day started right because she has helped so many people. Now they know we're coming, but she doesn't. She actually thinks somebody's coming to meet with her to discuss a funeral. Hi ladies. How are you? Good. Are you Nicole? Uh-huh. We're here to surprise you for Feel Good Friday. Uh, uh, oh. Every hey. week we like to find different people in the community <laughs> that are doing neat and impressive things and somebody messaged us about you oh. and said that uh, you keep the crematorium going here, <laughs> that you always have a positive attitude, that you, you strive to do your best at your job, that you impact everybody around you for good. So we wanted to come and thank you. Wow. Uh... I am blushing right now. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what to say. How long have you worked here? Um, it'll be five years, July 1st, actually. It's kind of an unusual job. It is, yes. It, what, what does it entail? Um, so it just kind of, um, oh wow, I'm kind of, sorry, You're a little fine. scramble brain. Um, so I mean, I go to different homes when we have a death that occurs. Um, I sit with families, make arrangements, you know, help out with cremations, do embalmings. Um, every day is different. There's always something different that happens. So it's it's always a new day. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I would imagine a lot of these times are real sensitive for those families, obviously yes. with death, but you've yes. got to have a good way with people to be able to deal in situations like that. Yeah, it can be really sensitive. Um, it's it's definitely a very delicate line that you have to toe. Um, you don't want to make people mad. You don't want to, because sometimes grief does involve anger and you just kind of have to deal with it as it comes and just hope that you can try to make the easiest way for them to, to take care of their loved ones, so. Well, you obviously touched somebody out there who's <laughs> anonymous. They didn't even give us oh. your, their name. They just sent me an email. It was a big, long write-up about you, so <laughs> we wanted to come and thank you. We understand you like um, flavored sodas, uh -huh. so we got you a $50 gift card. That's oh, from wow. Ashley Furniture to pick me up, and wow. Ashley also wanted to get you some morning coffee. That is fantastic. So there you go <laughs> and thanks for all you do to make our community better. Well thank you. <laughs> 
Happy Friday, everybody. Nate Eaton here in Chubbuck today with the Chief of Police. We're about to surprise one of the, the sergeants here who's been with the police department for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about Sergeant Manning. Um, you know, Sergeant Manning is just a great ambassador of not only our police department, but our community. Um, he's extremely positive. He's got a positive outlook about his profession and about the things that we do in the community. You know, during these difficult times in law enforcement, that's hard to maintain that, that level of positivity, but uh, Sergeant Manning's a, a a true example of that and just a great officer all the way around. And he comes from a family of law enforcement mm -hmm. from what I understand. His father was a lieutenant with Pocatello Police and some really cool things about Sergeant Manning. One is that he actually was asked to speak at the funeral of a man who mm -hmm. who needed help from police for, for quite a while. Not I, I don't know if that's a common thing where police officers are actually asked to speak at funerals. Yeah that was something that was completely unheard of but this was an individual that we had we tried to get him some help. There was some some mental health and substance abuse issues and and when he did pass away his family reached out to us as a department and asked specifically if Shane Manning uh, could come and speak at the funeral and he was more than willing to do that and it's just another example of of his willingness to always help out and, and, and try to do the best for our community it's just a you know, just yet another example of, of Sergeant Manning and his body of work. That's great. Well, we wanted to honor him with Ashley Furniture. Ashley is actually giving him a house full of furniture. Uh, we have a certificate here we're going to give him along with the envelope here from Ashley. They're going to let him and his wife, he has five kids, they're going to let them go into the furniture store, pick whatever they want to get some new furniture, get some, some new couches or whatever they need. Uh, so where's Sergeant Manning right now? He's, we've, uh, tricked him. He's in his office, in his supervisor's office, having a meeting real quick, and uh, they're waiting for us to, to wander over there. All right, let's go surprise him. Hey, how you doing? Are you Sergeant Manning? I am. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Well, we came to, first of all, just see how, you, how your day's going. It's going good. Yeah. Uh, tell me why you like being a police officer, Sergeant. <laughs> Oh, there's many reasons that I love what I do. Um, most of it's just serving the community and being a good representative to my boys and my family and um, following in my footsteps of my dad who retired from Pocatello. And so it's running the family. Oh yeah. You grew up seeing your dad go to work, put on the uniform. Is that something you always wanted to do? Absolutely. And how has it changed your life over the past, how many years you've been doing it? Uh, coming up on 11 years. 11 years. How, how has your life changed because of your job? Uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's changed because I've lived with it for so long, but uh, I think it's been a good impact for me and my family and in many different ways. You were asked to speak at the funeral of a person who you were constantly called to help on, which is pretty yep. cool. And I understand that even the family of a, of a young child, a television, fell on the child. They came yep. up to, to thank you for what you had done and the, and the kid's doing okay now. Yeah. What is it like when you have those moments? Oh, they're great. I mean, a lot of times you don't get to follow up and hear how the outcome is or whatnot. And so um, to speak at someone's funeral was nerve wracking, but it, it was an honor too to be a part of that. But then to follow up with family too um, and hear how a four year old's doing after an incident like that just kind of gives you that relief. Especially when you have five kids of your own, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, Ashley Furniture told us about you, and they said, we, we want to do something for him. He deserves something. So uh, we have a certificate here from them. Uh, I hope you need a new couch or a new dining set or something. That's something. Because there you have wow. uh, a house full of furniture right there, up to $3,500. Wow. <laughs> So, <laughs> That's crazy. You, you could take your wife and have a good 4th of July weekend. We, we <laughs> thought it was appropriate because yeah. it is the 4th of July. People like you are working so hard for our communities and, and helping others. So thank you thank from you. Ashley and, and from East Idaho News and from the community. Oh, I appreciate you. And tell it, Ashley, thank you. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton outside the Idaho Falls Senior Center. This is where volunteers deliver Meals on Wheels every day. And with COVID over the past few months, there have been so many challenges, but the seniors have continued to get their meals. And most times, these volunteers are the only human interaction that these people have every day. Well, we heard about a special volunteer named Bill. He has come every single day and spends hours preparing the meals and then doing his route. It's almost like it's a full-time job for him 
and he never misses a day and he doesn't get paid and he does this out of the kindness of his heart and so we wanted to come over here and thank Bill for all that he's done. The senior center's closed and they're taking a lot of precautions because of the coronavirus. So we're gonna put this microphone on a pole and he's gonna be coming out of this door any minute now and we're gonna thank him. We have some gift cards from Ashley Furniture to thank him for all he's done for our community. Hi, it's Nate Eaton. We are here to surprise Bill. Hello, how you doing? Good, is Bill here? Oh. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Pretty well. Is that Bill? Bill, how are you? Oh, not too bad. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. We'll keep our distance here. Okay. So this I'm six feet. Yeah, it is. I just came by to ask you how long how long you've been volunteering with Meals on Wheels? Uh, a little over a year now. And why did you decide to come and help out? Because I don't know anything else, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, between taking care of the neighborhood when I was a kid, then in the Army, then 30 years in the fire department, I just have to take care of things. You had a life of service, it sounds like. Yeah, pretty much. What, what do you like about Mills on Wheels? Oh, goodness. Uh, pretty much everything. Really? Like the people I work with, uh, the people I deliver to are uh, wonderful folks. And uh, just everybody acknowledges that we're there and that we're helping and that they appreciate it. And a lot of times you're probably the only visitor these folks get to see, especially during COVID. Right. Uh, I know on six people that I am the only one, but that's it. Wow. wow. Uh, well, I hear you, you haven't missed a day. <laughs> that you are you are the reliable one. This is pretty much your full-time job. You're not making a penny, but you're here to do this daily. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We wanted to thank you for Feel Good Friday. Ashley Furniture asked if we could bring you some gift cards. Oh, goodness. So, um, you did, right, look you at guys. this. What a, what a crap. So, we know you deliver the meals, but after you deliver the meals, we wanted to give you a few meals. So there's a gift card. You can grab some sandwiches. There's another gift card. And then we heard that you organize a veteran's breakfast or something like that. Right. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. I uh, started doing that about, what, 19 years ago. And basically it was a group of veterans. We used to meet in restaurants. But combat veterans, being the way we are, uh, sometimes we get boisterous, sometimes uh, not the best language comes out of our mouths. So we were asked not to come back to the restaurant. Uh -oh. <laughs> and I told my wife about it when I got home. And I mean, she didn't skip a beat. Well, bring them here. Wow. And so I've been doing that out of my home for 19 years oh my Well, actually 20, it's 20 now. Well, you need to get some groceries for those breakfasts, so there's a grocery gift card as well. You can go get bacon and eggs and pancakes. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Bill, for all you do, and all of you all, all you volunteers. Hey everybody, happy Friday. We are here in Mud Lake today for Feel Good Friday. I'm Nate Eaton. I want to tell you about one of the best teachers in Idaho. Her name is Amanda Erickson. Several of you have told us about her. This is just one of the emails I received. She is my son's English teacher and also my co-worker and friend. She recently had a seizure in her home and found out that she has a tumor in her brain. She's had surgery to remove it, but Amanda is doing the best she can by being positive and being happy. She has five children, all of them adopted, and she's the kind of person that cares about everyone. She treats her students with love and respect. She was working at the school tirelessly during COVID-19 to make things great for her students. When my 13-year-old son found out about the tumor, he was worried, and Amanda took time to FaceTime her son, this woman's son, 
to make him feel better. If you ask anyone in the Terridan area, you will hear story after story of her love and kindness. She has a lot on her plate, raising five kids, battling cancer and teaching school, but she does so many things for the, her students, her kids and the community. Well, we wanna thank Amanda for all she's doing and get an update on her cancer prognosis. So we are going to go surprise her. She doesn't know that we're coming. She's home with her kids today from what we understand and her husband. So with Ashley Furniture, let's go thank her. Are you Amanda? Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. I know who you are. Yeah, well, <laughs> we have come to hopefully make your day better. Oh. We brought you some gifts from Ashley Furniture, but can you give, give us an update on how you're doing? I'm doing pretty well. I feel like lots of prayers are helping me do well. I'm tired, and I have male powder baldness going on right now. But a so beautiful okay. cap. Yes, and it just arrived in the mail today, so... Everyone like knows what I need before I even know I need it. So <laughs> our community is amazing. Like we've been really, really blessed. So. Well, members of your community have been messaging us about you saying you oh. need to go surprise Amanda for Feel Good Friday. Oh my goodness. So we've been meaning to do this for weeks and we finally found a day. We wanted to give you these flowers from Thank Ashley. Thank you. We know that you have some kids. So you, here yeah. is a bag full of candy, but mo mom can eat all this. And there's a cake in there too. Oh so my goodness, you see thank that? you. And then we also wanted to give you some gift cards from Ashley. This is for you and your husband to enjoy at dinner out and then some online shopping oh if you need goodness. to buy anything. Thank you so much. This is uh, so nice. You, 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 you seem so upbeat and positive. A lot of people oh. fighting cancer are, you know, you sad. Know, and... It can be discouraging and I'm, I'm not always smiling, but I can tell you that I have learned that there is real peace in this world that exists for us that comes from heaven and I know that I know that now and I wish more people knew that because you know what I'm dealing with is temporal but people are dealing with lots harder things than just physical maladies and so I, I have reason to rejoice and it comes from outside of me <laughs> and so so I'm not making that up and it makes no sense to me that I can feel this much peace when I'm, you know, it makes me sad to think maybe I won't get to be with my kids as long as I want to. I might get called home earlier, but I also know that they're going to be okay because we live in the greatest place yeah. in the United States and everyone is there for everyone. And like I have learned that over and over again in this, my whole life actually. My, my family is actually a miracle mm. that came partly through our community. Well, thank you for all you do, Amanda, for the oh, community. And thank and... you for what you do. Oh, well. You do. That's why I know who you are, because you're my source of news. Well, you're very <laughs> kind. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton outside the Blackfoot Animal Shelter. These guys have been in the national spotlight over the past week because they jumped into action when there was a horrible crash last week. Uh, a company, a volunteer organization driving from Arizona to Canada crashed along I-15. There were dozens of dogs inside of their truck. Sadly, many of those dogs died, but many of those dogs survived and they were able to get away from that truck. So these guys went and picked up as many of the surviving dogs that they could, and they've been caring for those animals over the past week until they are able to go up to Canada. So we wanted to thank them. This is a small shelter that relies a lot on volunteers and donations. So we partnered with Ashley Furniture to get them some leashes, some bowls, some cleaning supplies. We hear they really need cleaning supplies and also some treats for the staff and volunteers. Now they think we're just coming to do a normal news story, but we're gonna surprise them. All right, we are here at the Blackfoot Animal Shelter. These guys have been busy over the past few days. There's some workers and some volunteers who have been uh, busy handling that horrible crash that happened on I-15 when so many dogs were killed and many others got away. Uh, tell me what you guys have been up to since that happened almost a week ago. Yes, we've been um, constantly out there. There's been somebody manning our traps out there 24-7. We've been constantly looking for the ones that are missing and just doing what we can. How many are still missing? One. Just one? Yes, we just have one out there that it is a black and white pit bull with a completely white face. So wasn't it 16 originally that we're missing? Yes. And you found 15? Yes. Wow, that is impressive. 
And have they just been all over the place along the freeway or? Um, some have been deceased and, you know, all over in the farmer's fields and things like that, yes. Now, I know in the beginning a lot of people were very concerned for the surviving dogs that made it here, but you were telling me before that they, they've, they've gone up to Canada, they're there? Yes, so they made their departure and everyone was healthy and happy. Considering what they've been through, it was amazing. What has this experience been for all of you guys been like? Um, you know, it's been wonderful. We didn't, you know, we only did what I would hope anybody would do. We've had an outpouring of support from everywhere around the U.S. And, you know, everybody's offered to help come down and it's been wonderful. It's you know, I think it's great. That's great. Yeah, you, you were kind of thrown into the national spotlight because this story went pretty big. Yes, it did. Well, we wanted to thank all of you guys for Feel Good Friday and the shelter. So we brought some, I know this isn't very sexy, but we brought some cleaning supplies. <laughs> oh, that's we, amazing. We heard that you needed some, some bleach and some uh, wipes and things like that. Unfortunately, there's limits to what you right. can buy at this point. So we also got the shelter a gift card, and awesome. then we got you some donuts as well that you guys can eat. Awesome, so, well, we appreciate it. Well, thank you, it's all in the car. Thank you guys for everything, really. I know sometimes uh, big things can happen to smaller organizations that like, the, like the shelter here, and I, I knew that you would all just step up, and we're glad that you made East Idaho proud over the past week. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Nate Eaton. Happy Friday. It is time for Feel Good Friday. You know, COVID-19 has really hurt a lot of charitable organizations in Eastern Idaho over the past few months. One organization that has been hit hard is The Haven. This is a uh, place where domestic violence victims and children can go and stay until they are able to secure a safe residents. Well, their donations have basically dried up financially and the items they receive from people, it's not happening. And so today for Feel Good Friday, we want to surprise them and thank them for all they do. We have a, a carload full of household supplies, some laundry detergent, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, things, everyday things that they need to help these women get back on their feet. Not only has COVID hit them, but domestic violence cases have gone up during COVID. So it's been a double whammy. Funding has gone down, cases have gone up. And the reason we're doing today's Feel Good Friday with Ashley Home Furniture is to let you know that they really need your help. So let's go talk to The Haven. They think we're coming over for a news story, but we're gonna give them all of this. So we are here at The Haven. Anne is the manager of The Haven. And what have the past few months been like for you? Well, one of our biggest issues is there's no more fundraisers going on. So people have had to cancel. Businesses, organizations that were gonna do fundraisers for us have had to cancel them. And plus people are not, it's not as much they're not leaving their home anymore, but they're not bringing us the donations we need, like the cleaning supplies and the, because it's all, there's not much of it left in the stores. So people are having a hard time with that. And we have, we rely on that stuff to keep ourselves going. Absolutely, you need that stuff to function. Clelly and Mary have both lived here at The Haven. This, these are the type of wonderful people we're talking about that, that need support. So Clelly, how, how did The Haven change your life? Um, so when I came here, I was pretty broken. I was homeless um, in an abusive relationship. I didn't have a driver's license. I didn't have clothes to my name. I didn't have anything. Um, and so when I got here, these guys, they took me in, they taught me skills that I didn't have um, and I wouldn't have learned without them. Um, and they also provided the, the items that I needed um, to find a job, um, like all of those resources too. So they've been very good to me. And you've gone on to have a, a very successful career. And Yes, I... And, and Mary, you moved out about a month ago. Yes, yeah, we moved out. It was the very, very beginning of July is when we moved out, July 9th. And how are things going? Great, they're going awesome. Um, my husband, he's working, got a new position at work, so that's been good. Um, finally got the apartment all set up, so we have somewhere to live now, so it's been good. That's great. You, the donations made to The Haven help people just like, just like this, as I said, in our community. And what are the main things you need today? Cleaning supplies, kitchen items, pots and pans, bedding, 
I really don't need clothing right now. We are inundated with clothing and that is not. So anything else you need in, you would use in a household, that's what I need. Well, we've got a car full of that sort of stuff oh. for Feel Good Friday. <laughs> oh. Ashley Furniture asked us to bring you a bunch of that oh. stuff down. So we, but, but you need more because it's going to go yeah. fast and you're always accepting monetary donations. Yes, but. very much so because our monetary donations have gone down and you can just go to the ECAP website and we have a donate button and you can donate uh, that way. All right, we'll put that information down below. You can click on the links, find out how you can help the Haven. Ladies, thank you. We wish you all the best of luck and thank you and have a good weekend. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you had a good week and that you have fun plans for the weekend. I'm Nate Eaton, and I want to tell you about a woman named Phyllis Steen. Yes, Phyllis Steen, that is her name. And over the years, she has made 8,000 teddy bears for children all over the place. She makes these bears and she donates them to whoever needs one or wants one. She's also made hundreds and hundreds of quilts for people in need. It's her motto, she says, to help people when they have broken bones, to keep them comfortable and to make them feel special. Not only that, she makes delicious rolls from what we understand. She makes jam and gives it away. And did I mention that she's 86 years old? Phyllis can't be stopped. She's had some tragedies lately though. In December, two of her sons passed away and that hasn't stopped her. She says that she's going to keep giving and today we want to give back to her. So we got her a gift card to the fabric store. We also got her a gift card to grab some dinner and we got her some flowers and chocolates. I called her, she thinks we're coming over just to do an interview about all the good works she has done, but we're gonna surprise her and thank her for Feel Good Friday. How are you? I'm Nate with East Idaho News. We brought you some flowers oh, and chocolates. Do oh. you like chocolates? Yes, can't you tell? <laughs> this, this is one I put together last, well, earlier this spring. This one I put together this morning when you, was, when you called, and it will have at least 18 chocolates in it. Oh, wow. So how long have you been doing this? Um, since 1987. And what, what started it? Well, <laughs> I kept seeing these jeans that were thrown away and like they might have holes in the front but not in the back and I thought, what a waste. See, so who are these for? I don't know yet. You're just making them to give yeah. away? Yeah. Well, I've lived in Idaho Falls since uh, 2007 and I've gave away about 144 or more. Oh my word. 344 really. Three, give, 344? Yeah because I give away like 70 some a month or a year and so. Are you always working on them? Pretty much and then the teddy bears when I buy material if it's light colored I'll get a little extra and I make teddy bears out of the extra material and I'm giving them to my doctor in Rigby and just for kids. To so. give out to their patients. Mm -hmm. So why do you do this? Well, <laughs> two reasons. One reason is better to give than to receive and the second one it makes me happy. <laughs> I just enjoy giving and I didn't, this is not all I give. I made strawberry jam yesterday, <laughs> and I will make rolls tomorrow, and then there will be two or three families that will get strawberry jam and rolls. And I make cookies for people. And wow, you're because, not you're not slowing down. You're not. No, I'm I'm slower, <laughs> but I'm not down. <laughs> wow. So, but it you know it just keeps me going, and I don't feel sad or you know anything I just you and you're always busy you're always yeah. doing something yeah and if I had two new legs I would, could do more but I can't two new legs <laughs> yeah. well we like to thank people in our community for a segment called feel good Friday 
And so we wanted to bring those chocolates and flour to you, but we also brought you a gift card so you could get fabric. Oh, There's goodness. $50 on there. Oh, good. And then here's a gift card for you to go to dinner. Oh, thank you. You can take whoever you want or go by yourself. Last time I got one, I just stopped by and brought it home and well, I think it was two or three meals. But yeah, you can do that and now get it to go. I, I really don't get paid for doing this. So. Well, we're, we're thanking you. We're, I guess we're not paying you, we're just thanking you. So I appreciate it. And I know you don't do it to get honor no. or glory. And the, another reason I give them away is I'm not, I'm not as good at it as I used to be and I know there's errors, but if you don't pay for them, how can you complain? <laughs> <laughs> so. Wow, so. thank you so much, Phyllis. Of course, we couldn't leave Phyllis's house without her giving us a quilt. She gave one to me and one to Eric. She insisted that we choose one. So we're going home better than when we left, as has been the case with so many people who have met Phyllis. Phyllis, thanks for all you do. Have a good weekend, everybody. Happy Friday, everybody. Yes, it's July, not October, although you might think it's Halloween based on the display behind me. Check this out. This is the Shippen's house in Rigby, and I want to read you an email we got about the displays that have been going on for the past few months. This is an amazing creative family in Rigby that has had a family of skeletons move in for the whole month of October doing different things in different ways. When the pandemic hit, they posted on Facebook that the skeletons were tired of being cooped up. So if you take a drive, you can come out and wave at them. Since mid-March, the skeletons have not missed a single day doing something new. Everything from sports, drive-in movies, proms, concerts, pirate attacks, camping trips, you name it, the families posted it. Well, for my family, the woman writing me this email, this has been a huge blessing. My 21-year-old son has autism, and as everyone experiencing the pandemic knows, it's really thrown a major wrench in life. Routines and schedules are his lifeline, and when he lost those, it was really stressful. So the skeletons became our new routine. This family may think it's a small thing, but it has truly been a major blessing for my family. Well, we wanted to come and check out the skeletons here in Rigby, and you can see behind me, they have a wedding set up today. We're gonna go thank the family for all they've done. Ashley Furniture wants to take them out to dinner, so we have some gift cards, and then some Amazon gift cards that I have a feeling they'll use to buy more skeletons. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? We're with East Idaho News, I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> and we uh, noticed some skeletons here in your house, in your yard. Tell me about what you guys are doing here. Uh, we started it just about the time that the, the lockdown started because people needed a distraction. I didn't have a whole lot of ways that I could give back to the community, but we do this in October and it gets a good reaction, so I figured you know, we'd give it a go. It's, it's been good. And do you change it every day? Every morning. Every morning you do a different display? Every morning. And how do you come up with the ideas? Uh, I, they come to me in my sleep. <laughs> uh, just try to keep it what normal people do. Uh, keep COVID and all of the politics and stuff out of it. Yeah. Just keep it fun, lighthearted. Well, we actually heard from a woman who has a son with autism who said that this brings them great joy every day to drive by and see what you're doing, see what the new display is. So we wanted to thank you for our Feel Good Friday segment. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley got you some gift cards to take the family to dinner and then to do some online shopping if you don't want to leave the house. Oh, so, go buy some more skeletons. Yeah, go buy some more skeletons. <laughs> so you guys can go have dinner and this is so much fun. I, I imagine now that more and more people are gonna drive by. How long do you intend to do it? Well, we were actually gonna quit with the wedding and I had enough people stop in the last week and ask us to keep going with it that we might just push it through all the way through October. <laughs> oh, wow. You might have to start recycling different ideas. I haven't yet. You I haven't. haven't. I haven't yet. Now we're on like day 100 and I think today's 111. 111. 111 different displays. Yeah. How old are you? Seven, Seven. and turning eight in October 31st. He is, my brother, he is three turning um, four 
on July. Okay, so you have a Halloween birthday. Yeah, we've got two nieces that have Halloween birthdays. So this and is, on the same day. And so that's why this is so special to you guys. This is your life. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton at Porter Park in Rexburg today, where a cat was saved in a tree just a few weeks ago. There's more to the story. Let me read you the email that I got. With all the negative news going around, I want to share an uplifting story that happened this morning. My daughter, Caitlin, is a student at BYU-Idaho. I live in California and received a desperate call from my daughter telling me that her cat, Nala, had run up a tree here at Porter Park and was now 35 feet in the air. Nala had been meowing consistently and was too afraid to come down. She waited with hopes that her cat would come down on her own, but as time went on, she started making phone calls for help. Seven hours passed and she was getting very concerned. The fire department said they no longer rescue animals from trees and recommended she contact the local animal shelter for help, but they didn't open until 1 p.m. I was able to get a hold of a tree trimming service called Upper Valley Tree Care. Upon hearing of my daughter's situation, they immediately dropped everything and arrived at the park within 10 minutes. They scaled the tree and were able to safely return Nala to my daughter's arms. She was overjoyed with relief. This kind man and his son refused to accept payment for their heroic deeds and kind actions. I'm so grateful to know Rexburg has such amazing people who are willing to help others in their time of need. Well, we agree and we decided to thank the kind folks at Upper Valley Tree Care. I called them up this morning. They're actually on a job right now. I told them we wanted to come, to, come by to do a story about tree trimming services. So they know we're coming, they just don't know why. Let's go surprise them with some gift cards from Ashley Home Furniture. How's your day been? It's been hot and sweaty so far. <laughs> yeah. We're actually here for a segment we do called Feel Good Friday. I told you we wanted to talk about trees, but someone emailed us a few weeks ago and said that her daughter's cat got stuck in a tree in Rexburg at Porter Park. Do you remember that? Yes. And she said that the fire department no longer gets them out of the, out of trees, but you guys went right over and got the, the cat out and didn't even charge her. No, that's it's kind of hard to do that with somebody's cat. And it was easy enough for somebody with the right skills to get up in there. And as a climbers and tree people, we have those skills. And it just, it didn't take very long. And I was just happy to see that she got her cat back. Yeah. So. And, and yeah, I mean, you could have charged her. You could have said, no, we don't have time. Why did you decide to just go do it out of the goodness of your heart? <laughs> Again, it's just somebody that was in need that, it, you know, it was a learning experience. I was able to take my son with me, show him how I climb, and she got a benefit out of it. We got to help. So the money that we make in this business is the tree work. It would hardly seem fair to charge, you know, we're taking a cat out of a tree that's minimal amount of work. Yeah. Well, good for you. You make our community better. We wanted to give you some gift cards from Ashley Furniture. So you and your crew, I guess, can go have lunch today at, at Texas Roadhouse. There's $50 there. And then I don't know if you do any online shopping, but it seems like that that's the way things are going. There's some Amazon gift cards. And th that's from Ashley Furniture. And we just wanted to thank you for what you do. I know your hands are full, so maybe we'll uh, I don't know, give them to one of your crew members and you can use that. Thank you. I appreciate it. And now we know who to call if cats are stuck in trees, but don't overwhelm their phones, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton outside the St. Anthony Work Camp. This is run by the Idaho Department of Correction, and it is for men, low-risk offenders who are going out of the community and doing jobs every day and getting paid a very minimal salary. Well, these guys have done something pretty special. You might recall a few weeks ago, three teenagers were killed in a crash on Highway 20. Another is still in the hospital recovering from her injuries. And these guys came up with a way to help out those families. Our inmates um, right now, unfortunately, um, as part of the COVID-19 restrictions, um, they have not been able to get out and go to work. When this tragedy struck St. Anthony, 
um, it affected each and every one of us. We're talking about the, the horrible crash that happened on Highway right. 20 that, that killed some teenagers who actually worked here at Big J's. Right. And so right. they, they've done a few fundraisers in the community that people have been able to come out and help the families pay, pay for mm -hmm. funeral expenses. And you all decided to chip in too. Absolutely. Um, you know, our inmates are fantastic. They're all adult male inmates, minimum security, and they just want to give back. They want, they see the value in, in giving back to the community. Um, and so we offered th uh, them to donate to Big J's. And when I called up Cassie and spoke with her, she said, oh, we would love that. Um, she says, how about for everyone who donates that we'll give them a free pizza bomb. We have 188 inmates that took up that offer, raised over $2,000 to donate. So we're really super excited to get that to them today. And um, our inmates, just when they heard the cause, um, we set a minimum of $10, and so many of them gave more than $10. Um, I think one guy gave $50, is that oh correct? Oh, my word, wow. Yeah. And, and these inmates, $10 is a lot. I mean, it's not okay. like they're, they're making... Fifteen twenty dollars an hour. No, I would say the highest paid in there is probably around two dollars an hour. Wow, so, um, the ten dollar donation and up to fifty is a pretty significant amount and pretty pretty generous. So. Yeah, how wonderful! Well, we we brought cookies for all the inmates for you guys to take back. That's from Ashley Furniture to thank them. They'll get a pizza bomb and a cookie, uh, but more importantly, we wanted to highlight the work they have done. So you have a check here for how much? We have a check um, made out to Big J's for $2,122. And she knows that you're coming to drop it off, but not us. Correct. I love listening to these guys. <laughs> are you Cassie? <laughs> yes. How are you? I'm Nate. Good. Good to see you. And you are? Lisa Thompson. Lisa, good to meet you. How are you guys doing? Good. We're doing good. Yeah? Yeah. For what can be expected? But you've had such an outpouring from the community, from what I understand. Yes, very much so. What have the past few weeks been like as far as customers coming in? And It it just shows this, I don't have words. It just shows how strong our community can be together. It's been really eye-opening. That's great. So. And, and I know that these kids that worked for you were pretty phenomenal kids from what we understand. Yeah. The least. Well, these guys invited us to tag along. They have something for you, so. All right. So our inmates, as you know, um, were very moved. And of course, they love your pizza bombs. <laughs> so when you offered um, them a free pizza bomb for a donation, um, we had an outpouring of 188 of our 255 that we have um, that more than exceeded the $10 per person. So I'm representing you from the Idaho Department of Corrections on behalf of the St. Anthony Work Camp inmates, the check for $2,122. Thank you. Thank you. This is my girl. <laughs> that's a lot of money right that, there. That's a lot of money right yeah. here. So, yeah. How much have you guys raised total, any idea? Oh, it's just been overwhelming. I haven't I added it up yet. Yeah. We've got um, lots of cash donations, and then we were able to donate a lot on that Saturday that we just donated everything that day. And the kids donated their tips. Um, wow. Some donated their salary that day. I haven't added it up yet, but those families will be well blessed by the overwhelming generosity that this community has done. Well, and for you guys to step in and do that yeah. too is pretty so. It's the least. I'm yeah. I'm so thankful for Lisa for letting us. Sorry. Okay. I love. They were my kids. I I I've known them all personally most of their lives. So it's pretty heartfelt. It makes me feel good. It's the least we can do. We were uh, debating. That happened on a Friday night. We were debating whether to even open on Saturday because the kids were so upset and it was we were upset but we just made the decision about 8 30 that night that let's just open and donate everything and we didn't put it on facebook we didn't announce it and by 10 o'clock the doors were just and we could not believe it and we had we usually have about six on that's pretty crowded for us so we had 12 of us here and a lot of the kids that weren't even on the schedule came in and helped 
her husband helped, my granddaughter came in, my mother came in, and, um, and we worked, and it was very ther therapeutic. I'm so glad we opened, and we didn't just stay closed and only think of ourselves. It was very, th and all those kids that worked the day, it was really, I mean, it was busy, but it was kind of fun, and it was just a good thing that um, we all, we It was all better had. than sitting up yeah. that day. I wasn't gonna come, um, but it was when I got the call, I was here, and, and like she said, my husband even comes in. And, and, her, two, and her daughter that wasn't yep. scheduled, it yep. was a family great. fair, it was, it was those, all my young high school employees, they were there, it was great. Would you say that that was your busiest day oh, ever? Oh, four times. Ever. Our, our busiest day is that Pioneer Day Parade Day, Okay. and we four times that day. It wow. was amazing. Yeah. You run out and of food? We didn't. Yes. No, no, no. Well, I had four bags of fries left, yes. me. Oh, four bags. Wow. And it wow. was like the miracle of the fries because every yeah. time we went back, there was one more box. <laughs> we always thought we were taking the last box, wow. but there was always one more box there. It was, it was the miracle of the box of yeah, the fries. That's great. But we didn't run out of food. But we did have to stop taking orders at eight mm -hmm. because we were still cooking at ten because oh if we were that far out. Hey everybody, Nate Eaton here. Happy Friday. Time for Feel Good Friday. I'm outside the Idaho Falls Police Department, the law enforcement building. I want to tell you about an email that the police department received just a few days ago about one of their officers. This was from a nurse practitioner at a local facility here in Idaho Falls. He said, on Sunday, June 21st, we had a patient in a state of anxiety that was escalating to the point of self-harm and ran out and was lying in the middle of the road. We called the police and Officer Rob was the first to respond. I would like to commend him on his professionalism and patience in dealing with an obviously mentally unstable and vulnerable person. She was running and yelling at him to shoot her. He remained calm and was able to safely diffuse a potentially difficult situation. I was impressed with his ability to communicate effectively and calmly. Take care of everybody. You don't really take care of yourself, but let us take care of you, okay? We want to get you the help you need, get you talking to people who, it's their profession to do this, okay? You help people, let us help you now. We believe that Officer Rob and the officers with the Idaho Falls Police Department should be recognized today. So we brought them lunch. We have a bunch of sandwiches here from Jimmy John's. We have a bunch of uh, chips here. We're going to thank Officer Rob for what he did. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'll elbow bump you. Okay. You're Officer Rob? Officer Rob, yes sir. Rob, so we're with East Idaho News and we heard about a situation you responded to the other day outside of an urgent care. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a bit about that vaguely? You don't have to get into specifics. Um, so I, it was on Sunday. Um, I was actually had an accident um, taking care of things and just clearing that up, getting ready to um, head home for the day. It was close to that time end of shift and they put out that there was a female that was at the ready care that had left and was in the middle of the street, laying in the street. Um, so I was, I was close. Um, so I responded and saw her in the middle of the street and um, ran after her and talked with her, tried to calm her down. She's having a hard time. You know, with the whole COVID thing, there was that stress and then other relationship things. Um, so I did what any other officer here would do and talked to her there, calmed her down. Um, she ended up actually running away again. Um, we chased after her, got her calmed down and convinced her to go to the hospital to, to get the evaluations, the, the care she needed. So. Anytime though you respond to these situations, sometimes somebody sees a police officer and they think, oh, it's gonna get worse. Sure. They think it escalates it up a bit, but you were able to calm her down to the point that she was able to get help for herself. Absolutely, and it, it didn't help that I had I turned my lights on because I was parked in the middle of the street um, and had to chase after her. So that didn't help with the, you're right, the, the perception that we're you know, not there to help, but we calmed her down. Um, the paramedics were standing right behind me. We got her to, to calm down and, and get the help she needed. So Well, good for you. Well, we wanted to thank you for Feel oh. Good Friday with Ashley Furniture. We brought you and the department some lunch. So you get the first choice of sandwich in there. And Very then good. Here, here's some chips as well. Well, thank so you, you can share that, that with everybody. Thank you for all you do to keep the community safe. And, and I imagine this woman too is getting the help she needs. Absolutely. And glad you were there that day answering the call. I appreciate it, thank you. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton in Rigby today outside South Fork Elementary School. I wanna tell you about a girl named Era Lee. 
She's an eighth grader at Rigby Middle School. And on her own, she's done a massive service project making masks for school children. She's made over 600 masks and donated them to the students. They're wonderful masks that are washable, hang around your neck when you're not using them, and are doubled for safety. She chose to pass them out at Back to School Night in Rigby here at the elementary school where she attended grade school. She also took donations to even create more masks and gave out copies of the pattern that she used. This person uh, taught Lee several years ago and is so proud of her and so are we. You know, they have baskets inside the school when you walk in of these masks, small, medium, and large. She even has different sizes. So we want to thank Aralee for Feel Good Friday for creating so many good masks. She didn't make this one, but we're going to mask up. We're going to head inside. She's here with her mom after school waiting to go home. Let's go surprise her. Are you Aralee? How are you doing? I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Let me guess, you made that mask. Yes. And how many others have you made? Um, over about 600. 600? <laughs> That's a big number. Well, can you tell me a little bit about why you started doing this, Aralee? Um, I started doing it because people needed masks for school since we have a mandatory mask school. And I did it for Girl Scouts for my silver award. And how did you find the, I don't, the, 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 do you call it a recipe? What do you, the template, like the, pattern. the pattern. Yeah, how did you find the mask pattern? Um, me and my mom um, started to sew and we like, found out that we could make it, make a pillow shape and then they could uh, fold it over, so yeah. That's great, and you just use different type of materials and colors and everything? Yeah. 600, that's a lot. Are your hands tired? Kind of. Kind of. Are you making any more right now? Um, yes. You are? You're not going to stop? Well, we wanted to come and thank you for Feel Good Friday. We do a segment every week called Feel Good Friday, and we saw some of the beautiful masks over here. So Ashley Furniture got you some gift cards. Do you like uh, Wendy's? just down the street. So we got that for you. And then you can go buy whatever you want at Target. There's those, and then you can get ice cream when you're done. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done. So do you have a goal to like reach a thousand or um, when are you gonna stop? When people have, have enough. When there's enough for everybody. Mm -hmm. Would you mind showing me these over here? So explain to me the different sizes. So this is small, it fits five to eight year olds. Then this is medium, it fits nine to 13 year olds. This is large, it fits 14 and up. And you do different, like I said, different patterns. Are any of them the same? Um, some of them. Some of them. Well, good for you. It's people like you that make our community better and better and help keep us healthy, right? Yes. Well, thank you, Aaron Lee. It was nice meeting you. Too. We are always looking for people to thank in our community for Feel Good Friday. If you have any ideas, fill out the form down below. And if you're watching this on Facebook, go to eastidahonews.com, the Feel Good Friday section, and you will find that form. I read each and every nomination that comes in, and we want to hear from you. Have a good weekend. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton with East Idaho News in Blackfoot today. I got an email yesterday that I want to read to you from a woman. She said, a feel good story that might be nice. There's construction on the railroad by Premier and Blackfoot Motorsports. One of the flaggers there waves and smiles at every vehicle that passes, doing his best to get them to smile and wave back. With so much negativity and so many people hating their jobs, sure would be nice if this man's positive approach to a truly boring job was shared. So we drove down here, we drove down to see what she was talking about, and we think we found the guy that she is referring to. Come over, right over here. He's right there. And we actually saw him waving, doing some dancing, having a good time with the drivers that were passing by. So we want to go thank him for Feel Good Friday. Ashley Furniture got him some gift cards to some local restaurants and uh, a gift card to Amazon. He could do some online shopping. So uh, let's go surprise him. Hey, man, how you doing? Good afternoon, gentlemen. How you guys doing? 
We are with East Idaho News, nice. and we got an email about you. <laughs> Thank that you. you are out here every day waving and yes, being friendly and making everybody feel welcome. Yes, sir. What, yes. You know, you don't have to do that. Not at all. This is just the energy I spread. You know, everybody looks for some for some type of reason to get up in the morning, and I want to be that reason, you know. So every, I'm, I'm new to Idaho, so hello Idaho. Where are you from? I'm from California, Los and, Angeles. And what's your name? Jonathan McFraser. Jonathan, what brought you out here? Man, just work, 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 work. But the people, they're keeping me to stay right now. So I, I really love it, I really love it out here. I love the breeze, I love the work environment, my coworker. So yeah, so it's, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing experience. Well, there, as I said, there's a woman that emailed me and said, thank you. you need to go thank this guy who works out on this road because he makes my day every morning waving at me when I'm driving to work. I don't even know his name. Can you go thank him? And she said, I said, yeah, let's go try to find this guy. So you're making a difference, dude. Thank you. So I wanna, I wanna say the most humblest thank you for whoever put that email out. Thank you so much. I do this every day. I have kids and I want to just be the most positive inspiration. I want them to be proud of me. So yeah, so thank you so much. I love you guys. And I'm, I'm just here. I'm just out here just making a dollar and I'm putting a smile on people's faces. And so thank you so much. We, we could tell from a mile away you were enjoying your job. So, so Ashley Furniture asked if we bring you some gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Oh my goodness! So, um, there's some lunch oh for the next week. Oh my god! And do you shop online? I really do. You got a computer? There's a, an online. And then take your family to dinner. That that can hopefully get you a few meals wow. there and take care of yourself. This is, I leave this to, man, to the man upstairs. I'm really thankful. Like, I'm really moving into my own place. That's what I'm really saving my money for right now. And so, man. Oh. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm beyond speechless. Thank you so much, you guys. And I, this is going to even put more more smiles and more more hand wavings for everybody. So yeah. So thank you, guys, so much. Well, thank so you, much. Jonathan, with an N or H N. How do you spell it? J O N. J O N. Yes, All right, sir. man. I'll give you an elbow bump. Thank you. There you go. Social distancing. So yeah. right. <laughs> All right. Damn. I, you guys made my day. You guys made my year. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton here outside the East Idaho News Studios about to surprise a woman named Amy. We got an email about her from the director of the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission. Let me say what uh, he said to me. I want to nominate someone for your Feel Good Friday news segment. I work at the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission, and to say we've been affected by COVID-19 would be an understatement. While requests for assistance have skyrocketed, both in our shelters and our nightly meal service to the homeless, Unfortunately, food and financial donations have dropped, as well as our ability to hold fundraising events. So it warmed my heart last week when Amy walked through our door with her young son and his wagon full of canned goods. I was overcome by this seemingly random act of kindness. However, I learned just how thoughtful and purposeful Amy's gesture was as she explained to me as we unloaded the wagon that she has taken it upon herself to organize a food drive for the mission by going house to house throughout her neighborhood collecting much needed canned food. During these turbulent times, Amy's kindness was a shining beacon of hope, faith, and love that exists in our community, and I wanted to share this story. Well, we got a hold of Amy. She thinks we're going over to do a news story about some upcoming food drives. We actually are. We want you to be aware of food drives and want you to know that the need is great. But we also bought a bunch of food to donate on her behalf. We understand that cold cereal is a big need right now. And we got Amy and her family a gift card for a pizza party that they can celebrate and have pizza at home. So let's go surprise her. So we are here with Amy and her son, Avery, and they have uh, spent the past few weeks collecting cans, going door to door from what I understand, right? Yep, yep. Tell me about why you guys decided to do this. Yeah. Well, we're doing it because we want to feed the people and help them live. That is a great cause. Amy, was this your idea or Avery's idea or what? Kind of joint. Um, you know, just like a lot of other people, we've been stuck inside way more than we're used to. So we thought, what can we do for the community? We need to be out doing something. So it just gives the idea to go collect food. And a lot of us have heard that there's a need for food all the time. But this time in particular, from what we understand, Right now, it's it's crucial. What have you discovered as you guys have been doing this about the need? Yeah, um, I mean, there's a lot of people in our community. I mean, everywhere that food is just 
needed. And so um, we just thought, you know, there are other people reaching out to others, collecting food, giving out food, and we thought, what can we do to be part of that and just fulfill the need? I mean, it's needed. <laughs> so Avery, how many homes do you go to? Did you go to? Any idea? Um, I would guess about like, let's see. Hmm. All of them on your street? <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty I'd much? say 40. 40? Wow. And how many canned items did you get? Let's see. Three bags. Three or two bags. Oh. And then you you went and dropped them off with your mom? Yep. And what was the reaction there at the rescue mission? They were just like, thank you, thank you. And it was so awesome. That's great. Well, hopefully you'll inspire others. You inspired us. So we got in touch with Ashley Furniture. We do a segment called Feel Good Friday. They said, go give that family a pizza party. So here's a gift card that you can order some pizza. And we have one more thing. In the back of our truck here, or our, our little car, a bunch of food that we want to donate in your honor, or we can give it to you and you can go donate it. So whatever you decide, we understand there's a big need for cold cereal right now because a lot of families don't have breakfast for their kids. So you want to take this? Sure. Yeah, we All can right. do it. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. What do you say to people watching right now that want to get involved? Was it hard to do all this? Mm, not really. It's just, it was fun and we like doing it. You like doing it. You do it again. Yeah. Mom, anything you want to say? Yeah, it's, um, it's easy. I mean, we just need to be hands and feet of our community and just help fill the need. Oh, yeah. Well, you filled the need and you inspired us. So thank you very much. Also, this weekend, there's a bunch of food drives happening throughout Idaho Falls. We'll post a link below of places you can donate and be like Amy and Avery here and help the community and help those that are hungry. So yeah. thanks, guys. I'd give you a high five, but I won't because of COVID. So an elbow yeah. bump. <laughs> there we go. All right. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton. I hope you are ready for the weekend. Are you planning to mow your lawn this weekend? I know a lot of us are, and I want to tell you about a kid named Jacob. He lives in Ammon, and a few weeks ago, he decided that he was going to mow 50 lawns, but not just anybody's lawns. People who are disabled or the elderly or veterans or people in need, he wants to go around Eastern Idaho and mow 50 lawns. It's part of a nationwide movement called the Raising Men Campaign, where kids in every state are volunteering to take care of people's yards. Well, we wanted to go meet Jacob and tell you a little bit about him. And Ashley Furniture wanted to give him some gift cards to thank him for spreading so much good in our community. He thinks we're coming over just to interview him for a news story, but we're going to surprise him. Let's go. So I am here with Jacob. Now, Jacob, tell me what you're doing with, with this lawnmower. So I am going, I am mowing people's lawns that are disabled veteran, single parent, or the um, elderly, and um, you have to mow 50 lawns. 50 lawns, how many have you done? Like six. Six. Where did you get this idea? Um, I, was, I was hanging out in my house and mom, uh, my mom was like, oh, there's a challenge to mow 50 lawns. So I'm like, I'll do it, and then, yeah. Now, do you like to mow lawns? Yeah. Yeah, what do you like about it? that I get grass everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I see on your shirt, it's Raising Men Lawn Care Service Giving Back to the Community. That's kind of the national organization that's that's kind of been behind this, right? Yeah. And she told you about this and you said, let's do it. Yeah. So where are you mowing the lawns? If somebody's watching, how could they get involved if they need your help? Um, like what cities? Um, Idaho Falls, Rigby, and she Shelley. And do you want to have this all done by what? The end of the summer or? Um, I really don't know. <laughs> You're just going to keep going until you finish up. Yeah. What What kind of, uh, why, why do this? Why do you want to do this? Because I, um, I realize that some people can't mow lawns and do stuff around their house by themselves because like, yeah. Um, so I thought like they'd, I'd go help them with stuff. That's great. Now, how can people get in touch with you if they need your help? Um, on like Facebook, they could go to like Jacob's like lawn mowing. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, so you have a Facebook page? Oh, my mom does. Jacob's 50 yard challenge. Okay, we'll, we'll link to that. Yeah. 
and we'll let people know. If you're elderly, disabled, if you uh, veteran. a veteran, you can't get out and mow your lawn, you need some help, or, ja you're disabled. or you're disabled, Jacob's your man. He'll come and take care of the lawn and, and uh, you're gonna put on a lot of steps, I imagine, over the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we also wanted to thank you for our Feel Good Friday segment. Every week we go out with Ashley Furniture and thank people for doing good in the community. So we wanted to thank you. We got you some gift cards. Okay. So, do you like ice cream? Yeah. All right, there's there's an ice cream gift card. Thank you. Do you like McDonald's? Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's a, there's a okay. gift card to McDonald's. Thank you. And there's some gift cards to Target. You can get whatever you want. If you need school clothes or video games, whatever you want, lawnmower maintenance things or AirPods, you can take care of that. That's from Ashley Furniture, thanking you for doing so much good in the community. Thank you. A big thanks to Jacob. And if you have an idea for Feel Good Friday, we are always looking for people to thank. Send me an email or you can fill out the form at eastidahonews.com in the Feel Good Friday section. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton here at the Idaho Falls Zoo with some very noisy birds. And David, he is the executive director here at the zoo. We're about to surprise a volunteer who you tell me is the best of the best. Uh, the Idaho Falls Zoo is absolutely dependent on volunteerism and kind people. This particular volunteer is the, the creme de la creme of our volunteer corps. She consistently volunteers more than anybody else. She volunteers in multiple different dimensions of the zoo operations and animal care and education. She just impacts the zoo in so many ways, day after day, month after month. We just can't say enough about our wonderful Dee. She's just fantastic. Her name's Dee, and how long has she been volunteering, David? Uh, it's been about uh, four years. Okay. Four years. And she worked out at the INL, from what I understand. That's and right. And retired and said, I'm going to go help out at the zoo. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I wonder if uh, your viewers know how critical that is. The zoo does not operate the way the zoo operates without people like Dee. And so you say Dee, you know, works on the landscaping, or she helps with the animals, or she helps in education. You should, you should equate that to a functioning zoo that impacts thousands and thousands, 150,000 patrons in a year, and that that uh, ripple that goes through our economy, that goes through our quality of life in our community, all of those things. People like D and D particularly are critical to make that happen and they often don't get the recognition in the community that they deserve. So we're thrilled that you're here, Nate, well, and that Dee gets a little, uh, gets a spotlight today because yeah. it's well deserved. Hi Dee, how are you? Good. Good to see you, I'm gonna elbow bump you. Alrighty. What are you up to today? Not much. Nate, do you remember my mom at Christmas? Remind me of your mom. She's the one in the trailer that you took this stuff to for um, the Secret, what was Santa? It? Secret Santa. Oh, yes. The one that thought you were scamming her. That's your mom? That's my mom. That's been one of our. So, have I talked to you before? Were you the daughter I talked to? Yes. <laughs> well, goodness runs in the family. How's your mom doing? She's doing good. Did she she's get her washer good. and dryer? She did, and she's quit doing the paper. So oh, she she's did. just taking life easy now, yeah. But I hope she put new tires on the car. She did. Oh wow, she that, did. that was one that I'll never forget. You guys were awesome. Oh, you that... helped her so much, it wasn't even funny. <laughs> well, it was funny that she didn't know who you are. Well, today we're here to help you. Today we're here to surprise you. Uh oh. Without knowing of that connection, I have heard you are the best volunteer at uh, the Idaho Falls Zoo. I don't know if I'm the best, but I love it here. I absolutely love it here. It How is. long have you been working here? Um, about four and a half years. I retired from the INL and came right here afterwards. I had a dear friend who used to volunteer here and I used to get so jealous watching um, all the fun things she got to do and seeing her photos and talking about the animals. And I told her, I said, the minute I, or I retire, I'm coming to volunteer with you. And unfortunately, she's passed away since then, so I didn't ever get a volunteer with her here. But um, she used to walk our singing dogs quite a bit. And I just loved watching all her fun stories, so I, I had to come here, and I absolutely love it. How many hours a week do you put in? I'm usually here, I'll probably at least 20 a week. And you, you roped in your husband to coming with you now? I did, yeah. I did, yeah. He retired, so I've got him 
come in here too now. So here you are picking weeds. I am. In a place that the public will never see. No. I mean, why? why? Why do this? You could be sitting on the couch at home. I could. My thing is, um, whatever you see makes an impression. And I want everyone to love every piece of the zoo like I do. So Dee, what are some other things you do here in addition to picking the weeds? So once a week, I'll go up and clean um, after our little animals, our ambassador animals in what we call the habitat. So up there we have an armadillo, some snakes, um, hedgehogs, ferrets, birds. So I go up and clean after them, make sure they have fresh water, fresh food, those kind of things. Um, I'll help the keepers, I make diets for the birds. One of the coolest things I think I've got to do here is I got to help hand raise our Gray Gibbon, Sid. He was born with teeth, so of course his mom would not nurse him. Um, at about five days old, he was not going to make it, so our vet made the determination to pull him and hand raise him. So there was about 30 volunteers that were helping with him. Someone had to be with him 24 hours a day. We taught him um, how to hang on. We wore a vest, it kind of looked like Sasquatch for lack of a better explanation, because um, we had to teach him how to hang on. When they're brachiating through the trees, they can go about 30 miles an hour. Wow. So they've got to hold on, and they're holding on even when they're sleeping. Oh we got to teach him how to take a bottle. He got to you know, sleep right on us. It was the coolest thing ever. Well, David spoke very highly of you and all of the other volunteers. Of course, the zoo couldn't run without people like you. So uh, Ashley Furniture wants to send you and your husband to dinner and let you do a little bit of shopping. No way. So we, there's a gift card that you can go to the store and there's online options too. Oh, you guys are awesome. And then uh, go get a steak. Go have a nice meal oh, with your my husband. Word. That is so awesome to be, be rewarded for something you just love doing. Well, you're right. And I know you don't do it for the reward, but uh, we wanted to thank you. So there you go. Oh, and, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Please tell your mom hi. I will. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton in Hibbard today, and I want to tell you about a guy named Rick Hill. He runs Over the Hill, an auto body mechanic shop. And just a few days ago, a woman from Montana was in town when she got into a car crash. She called for a tow truck. The tow truck driver came and apparently told her that the car was a loss that needed to go to the scrap heap. Well, she reached out to a friend who lives in Rexburg, and that friend said, I know a guy. You've got to call Rick Hill. So she called Rick. Rick came over with his tow truck, towed the car to his own shop, and spent hours working on the vehicle, trying to get it repaired. In fact, he was working until 1 a.m. He paid for the woman to stay in a hotel, $1,200 of his own money for auto body repairs, fixing up the car, putting up the woman, helping her get back on her feet, and he didn't charge her a penny. She came to pick up the car. She was able to make it home to Montan Montana safely. And I got a two page letter about the whole experience. So we wanna go thank Rick for Feel Good Friday. It's people like him that deserve to be acknowledged here in the community. Ashley Furniture said, go give Rick some gift cards. Have him go out to dinner with his family. So that's what we're gonna do. He's working right now in his shop. Of course, he has no idea that we're coming. Hello, Rick. Hi. How you doing? Wow. <laughs> Good to Nate see you. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Oh. <laughs> How's your day going? It's going. You have no idea why we're here, right? No. Well, we got an email from a woman, actually a handwritten letter, typed out letter about a woman you helped over the weekend from Montana. You know what I'm okay. talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you, would you mind telling me her story or uh, how you got involved? Uh, Peggy Jepson just had me, um, or called me and told me there's a lady in town that was uh, broke down and uh, cars crashed and needed some help, so I just helped her out. This was on a Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. On a weekend. Yeah. And from what I understand, you helped her out till like one in the morning, mm -hmm. and then didn't charge her anything. Yeah. <laughs> Why, why'd you do it? I was just she needed help. Nobody's around to help her out. So. Yeah. I would imagine this isn't the first time you've done something like this. <laughs> no. And you feel really <laughs> uncomfortable talking about it. I yeah. can tell. <laughs> well, we wanted to thank you for Feel Good Friday. Ashley Furniture said, "Go give Rick some gift cards." So. Um, Take cool. your take your family to dinner there, and Thanks. then you can do some online shopping, buy parts for your cars or whatever you gotta buy. Hopefully something fun. Okay. And if I ever need a car fixed, I know where to come in Hibbard, right? Salem. Yeah. All right. Hibbard. Well, thanks, Rick, and thanks from the woman that you helped, yeah. and and all the other people I know that have told us about you. Thanks. All right. I'll elbow bump you. Okay. 
And there are a lot of them. Are there? A lot of them. I would imagine. I would imagine. Generally, people like Rick don't do this once. Uh, yeah, about once a day. <laughs> once a day. <laughs> yeah. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you are ready for the weekend. I'm Nate Eaton with EastIdahoNews.com. I want to tell you about a woman named Deanne. Actually, one of you told me about her. I'd like to nominate Deanne Cook for Feel Good Friday. Deanne has been doing costuming for the community theaters for over 20 years. She has sewn hundreds of costumes, helped children get into costumes during the plays, organized and moved costumes even by herself during COVID, and influenced hundreds, perhaps thousands of youth for good. She has mainly worked with the youth through the Idaho Falls Youth Arts Council and has been the lady behind the scenes making sure the youth shine. I believe she would be a tremendous candidate. Well, so do we. We're so grateful that Deanne could put her time and energy and talents into getting costumes so that we as a community can go enjoy the arts. We got her a night out, thanks to Ashley Furniture, to the Olive Garden and also a gift card. She can head to Target and do some shopping. We think she's home right now. We hope she's home. Let's go see. Hello. Hello. We're looking for Deanne. Oh, just one moment. Thank you. Deanne! Oh, hi! How are you doing? Good. Did we catch you in the middle of sewing something? It caught me in the middle of doing dishes. Oh, dishes! <laughs> we understand yeah. you're one of the best seamstresses in Idaho Falls. Oh, I wouldn't know so sure about that. But. How, how long have you been sewing costumes? I have been doing co costumes with the Idaho Falls Street Art Center for 20 years now. 20 years? Yeah. And you still have fingers. I, well, <laughs> I just got back from quilting and I've got a couple fingertips that are pretty bruised. <laughs> oh my word, so how many costumes, any idea? No clue. But costume no after costume, play after play. Yeah. For why, sure. Why do you do it? You know, because I love it. And I love the people of this community. Yeah. They're, we've got some amazing youth, amazing people. I love what I do. And even during COVID, have things slowed down or are you still staying no. busy? <laughs> they yeah. haven't slowed down. Yeah. But I'm well, still busy. We're here for Feel Good Friday. Somebody told us about you, sent us well, a really so nice sweet. email <laughs> saying you need to go surprise Deanne. She's put in countless hours. You probably don't even track the hours, but it's got to be thousands. I don't. Yeah, it would be in the thousands. And it's not like you're getting paid to do this. You're just doing it out of the kindness of your heart. For the most part, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ashley Furniture said Deanne deserves a night out with her husband. So we got oh, you a, a gift certificate well, to go out to you. dinner. And then you can do some shopping after, buy whatever you want. It doesn't have to be fabric. I don't think Target sells fabric. Target but... doesn't do fabric. So, so buy so something fun. for you, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And thank you, and hopefully the kids will be back on stage soon and everyone can well, go watch. Our fall musical is up and running, so. Is it? It is. What is it? What's the Elf. Elf. Elf, the musical. Okay. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay. Awesome cast, awesome, awesome crew. It's gonna be good. And awesome costumes. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot that part. Well, we'll let you get back to the dishes. All right, well, thank nice you. Nice meeting you, take care. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton at the College of Eastern Idaho outside Building One. Inside this building is the tutoring center. And a student sent us an email this week telling us how much one of the tutors in here has changed this student's life. Sometimes all it takes is one person during your educational path to really make a difference. And this student told us that Julie, inside the tutoring center, has really made a difference. We're going to go in and we're going to read Julie the email that this student sent us. We're also going to give her some gift cards from Ashley Furniture so she can enjoy a night out and go uh, celebrate all that she's done. So let's go surprise her. Hello. Hi, how are We are looking for Julie. You found her. Julie. How are you? Hi. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Hi, how are you? We got an email about you the other day. Can oh, I read really? it to you? I won't tell you who it's from. <laughs> Julie Kaufman is the manager of the tutoring center, tutoring center at CEI. I've been attending CEI for a little over a year and a half. Julie has been helping me with algebra, college level algebra, and currently statistics. 
I've never enjoyed math and struggled in, in many other areas with math classes, but Julie has always made time for me and hundreds of other students that have come through the tutoring center doors. College can be challenging and with COVID and tutoring now being taught mostly remotely, Julie has stepped up to the plate and has been teaching chemistry, physics, electronics, and can answer just about any question under the moon. She has been an incredible help in my college career and she deserves a thank you for her patience and guidance and help. She's helped not only me, but hundreds of other college students' lives in shaping our futures. So we wanted to, yeah, we wanted to come and thank you for our Feel Good Friday segment. And I should have brought a list of math questions and chemistry <laughs> questions right. to see. How long have you been working here? Over 10 years. 10 years. And what's your favorite part about your job? Seeing people go from, I hate math, to math can be kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like to see the difference it makes. Have you always been a math fan? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> from elementary school. <laughs> I would imagine, has there been some challenges this year with COVID and trying to figure things out? Yes, there definitely has. I see the students really struggling with trying to do math online and trying to get tutored remotely. So we've, it's been an extra struggle and I'm glad I've been able to help, sounds well, like. <laughs> you have. I mean, you've helped enough that a student took time to send an email and sit down and tell us about you. So Ashley Furniture, we partner with them for Feel Good Friday. We want to give you a night out oh, to goodness. dinner. So there's a gift card that's for you. Oh, wow. And then you can do a little bit of shopping, get yourself a new outfit or new shoes, whatever you want. And then you can hit up a second store and buy whatever else you need. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. So thank you. Any message out there you have to a student that might be struggling with math or any subject? Math can be fun. Come on in and I will help you with math. <laughs> It's not as bad as you might think it is. Yeah. Well, I would not have passed biology without a tutor like you. So uh, I, I, I testify that tutoring tutors are a big help. So thank you for helping so many students, Julie. Thank you. Appreciate it. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton outside of Idaho Material Handling. This is Allison and her son, Riley. He's 14, getting ready to, uh, to start high school. But the reason we're here is because of something that happened with Allison just the other day. Tell me what happened. I was driving home to get him from his therapist and my car decided to blow up on me. And I was able to pull in here and the gentleman ran out and helped me and got my hood open and got the engine cooled off and got me back on the road so I could make it home to Rigby and go from there. But I would not have been able to get home without them that day. It's right. always nerve-wracking when oh. your car breaks down <laughs> anywhere, especially yes. if you have a son who's waiting for you. Yes. So do you remember the name of the guys who helped you? It was Chance and Rick. And they just came out here on, mm -hmm. on the road time, and said... Yep, and came, they came out right here to the parking lot and got my hood open and got everything cooled off. They had their flashlights and <laughs> they were on it. That's so, great. And your mom was able to pick you up, Riley. You want to say hi? Hi. There you go. So what we've done is we're, we're going to surprise these two. They're working. We coordinated with their boss. They don't know that we're coming, but apparently they love Texas Roadhouse. That's their favorite restaurant. So we got them a few gift cards. They can go out to eat and uh, let's go surprise them. Hello. Are you Frosty? Frosty? Yep, I am. Good to see you. And yeah, this is Chance and Rick. Yep, you recognize right these guys? <laughs> Well, Allison, we're here because Allison told told us what you guys did the other day. Uh, that's that's kind of a normal occurrence for us around here. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys do here for your jobs? We're mechanics. <laughs> so if you're gonna break down, break down out here. Yeah. Well, we wanted to come and thank you with Allison and her son Riley. Riley was waiting at an appointment, and uh, or at school. He was with his, just with his therapist. With, with, his, with, Avery. with his therapist, and she told us, had you guys not helped, it would have been. Uh, problematic. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, it sucks to break down. It's good to have somebody here and I'll help you, but our pleasure. Yeah. Did you guys just see her out there and you decided to run out? Or? Yeah. Yeah. We nice. did. We were just walked out there and she happened to get out of her outfit and come over towards us and figured she needed a hand. Well, that's great. Well, we wanted to thank you for Feel Good Friday. Ashley said, Ashley Furniture said, um, take them some gift cards. So we understand you like the Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, it's popular around here. So there you go. You can take whoever you want. 
and uh, thank you. I'm going to plan my car breakdowns <laughs> Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, out here. <laughs> we'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>
where a little boy named Weston lives. Now, Weston turns four in just a few weeks, and sadly, he was diagnosed with leukemia a few years ago. He got a bone marrow transplant from his father last February in 2019, and he was doing really well up until earlier this year when the cancer came back. And sadly, we're told that Weston only has a few weeks left to live and his family is trying to do all that they can to help his last few weeks on Earth be memorable. So we're gonna give him a helicopter ride. We've arranged to go up in the air with him today, give his family a ride they're never going to forget. And even though it's rainy, we're gonna have a good time. Hi guys, Hi. how are you? Are you Weston? Can I elbow bump you? <laughs> How you doing, dude? Is he good? Were you at the doctor this morning? You ready to go on a helicopter ride? Good, and you're Todd? Yes. And Erica? Yes. Can you just give us a brief synopsis about um, how your son's doing? Yep, so he, um, do you have the full story? Or? Yeah, give okay. us the story. So he was diagnosed a week after his second birthday and he has acute myeloid leukemia. And he did great. We were in the hospital for a few treatments, and then he had a bone marrow transplant February last year. And dad was a donor, mm -hmm. and he did great. He was almost cancer free for 346 days, so almost a year, and he relapsed. And so we did some more radiation and chemo, and um, you know, his little body is had enough, I think, and is he's just got leukemia coming back and so right now we're just enjoying every day that we can and trying to make every day count. Good for you and how are you doing dad? Hanging in there yeah. one day at a time. Yes. So. Well let's get you guys on the helicopter so we're not out here in the cold anymore. Do you want to <laughs> sit up front Weston? <gasps> yeah. You want to sit in the front? Oh, with me? You want to sit with mom? I can sit with you. <laughs> can you All give right. a thumbs up? Huh? There you go. Thank <laughs> you guys so much. Yes, oh, thank absolutely. you. Anything you want to say before you go, dude? Can you give me a thumbs up? <laughs> yeah. Hi, yeah. <laughs> So what'd you think, guys? It was so much fun, what, huh? what, Where did you go? Who did you go see? Can you tell me who you went and saw? Tell me, tell me who you went and saw. Yeah. Your Mimi and Pa, huh? Oh, nice. Did you fly over their house? We did, huh? So someone told us you like tractors, dude. Do you like tractors? I do, huh? We got you a few things. <gasps> There's this huge Whoa. monster construction truck. Do you like that? What do you think? you say? like those? Can you say thank you? You're welcome. <laughs> and a little tractor. Whoa, look at the little one. There's the tractor. What do you tell him? Can you say thank you to everybody? We figured you probably had a lot of tractors, so we wanted to mix it up a little bit with these. Okay, we don't have these ones, huh? <laughs> and for mom and dad, we figured you are probably doing some traveling. We got you a gift, oh, a gas car. Oh, thank you so much. So uh, when you need to fill up and you're on the road. Oh, we appreciate you're it so welcome. much. Thank you guys. Thank you guys yeah, for doing truly. this for him, huh? There you go. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you are ready for the weekend. I hope this weather holds because it's beautiful. We are outside the Bonneville County Jail 
ready to surprise a nurse who works inside for Feel Good Friday. Let me tell you a little bit about Serena. She is a very kind and heartfelt individual. At the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, Serena made the jail staff several masks for them to wear. Throughout this time and even before, Serena continues to bake delicious cookies. She comes to work daily with a positive attitude, is always smiling, is incredibly hardworking, and is always up for a laugh. Serena continually thinks of others before herself. She is truly an empathetic person and does her best to take care of the needs of people in our facility under our care. Serena is loved here at the jail and we just wanted to nominate her to show her how much we value and appreciate her. I'm sure you can tell by me reading that that it's somebody that works closely with Serena that told us about her. So we're going to thank her for Feel Good Friday. Ashley Furniture bought her some flowers, some chocolates, some gift cards. Let's go surprise her. Hi, we are here to see Serena. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Hi. Here for my COVID test. No. Oh, kidding. okay. <laughs> We're actually here because uh, somebody who you work with told us about you and said you should surprise okay. her for our Feel Good Friday segment. Okay. They said that you have just been a trooper for the past few months. Always have a smile on your face beneath the mask. Yeah, you can't see it right now. <laughs> yeah, and you're always helping people and, and doing the best you can regardless of the circumstance. So we wanted to bring Thank you some you. chocolates. Oh, much needed. Today. And some flowers. <laughs> Thank you. And Ashley Furniture also wanted to get you some gift cards. So this you can use at any of those restaurants. Luckily, we have one of those in town now. Yeah. And then this is a $25 gift card Thank that you, you can so use much. anywhere with those. So. Thank, Thank you for you. all you do. Why, why do you like, what's your favorite part about your job? Um, I get to help people that don't get the help they need in the community sometimes. I just get to give people a little extra love, so. A yeah. lot of people would say, oh, you gotta work in the jail. Who would <laughs> yeah. wanna work there? Uh, but, but it sounds like you truly enjoy yes. serving yes. some of those people. Yep, they're, I see them as my patients. To me, they're not criminals, so. That's how I see it. And, and are you here full time? Yes, I am full time. I'm one of the nurses here full time, almost every day of the week. So. And how busy are you? Very busy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We've got lots of patients every day. COVID has made us even more busier, but we just keep going. So. Sure. Yeah. Well, we appreciate what you do thank for you. for everybody in our community <laughs> and those people that stay here. And you can thank your colleagues because they told us about yeah. you. And, <laughs> and hopefully that can uh, show You're our welcome. appreciation. So thank you, thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Thank, thank you. you. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton, and we are in Rexburg today. You see this big semi behind me? That is full of food, and it's all part of the Rexburg Food Pantry. This is Jess Gowdy. Jess, tell me how this all started. We have a mobile food pantry here. Um, it's been here for seven and a half years. Uh, it was started originally um, with the help of the Crisis Center and Madison School District because Madison County has the highest poverty rate in the state of Idaho by more than double. Wow. And we are also one of the only counties that doesn't have a brick and mortar pantry that people can go in and pull food from three times a week. Hmm. And so, um, a mobile pantry is a way of throwing food into a community to try to help all those who are food insecure. The food comes from the amazing nonprofit organization, the Idaho Food Bank. They collect this food from doors, from businesses, food that's uh, nearing its best buy or uh, just barely past it. We started serving around 500 families, uh, which is about 30,000 pounds of food. And um, seven years later, our, our numbers from two weeks ago, we served 838 families. Oh my gosh. And uh, that's over 52,000 pounds of food. So the um, need is real, very real. It's, it's very, very real. You guys are all volunteers. Yeah, it's a, it's a community run program. Um, everybody out here just has a desire to not see anybody go hungry. Everything we need to run the organization, we either buy out of our own pockets or ask, um, beg <laughs> from sure. community members, such as uh, garbage bags or box cutters or um, just the, the simplest of items that add up quickly. That is so impressive. You, you, you see a problem in the community and you do something about it. And that's what you guys have done. Ashley Furniture wanted us to bring by 30 turkeys 
to donate to you guys. So we've got the turkeys. We happen to hit the right date. So this semi is unloading all the food that they're going to give out to the families. And then hopefully these turkeys can help. There's going to be people watching that want to donate. Absolutely. How do they do it? Um, so what we, what we would encourage them to do is go to our Facebook page, if you have it, uh, Rexburg Mobile Food Pantry. There you can learn a little bit more about what you do so you're not blindly donating. Um, you can become as impassioned as we are. If you don't have money, we take the donation of time. Um, volunteers is something we're always looking for, especially in the winter months when it's 10 below, because we still do this. Um, so donating time. Uh, on our page, we have a wish list of everything from garbage bags to Someday we would love to have a covered trailer so that we can store our supplies in it and not be shuffling things around. So um, from the biggest of donors to the smallest, if you can buy us a box cutter, we would, we would love it. <laughs> if you can That's buy great. us a trailer, we would love it even more. <laughs> That's great. And we'll put a link down below, a link to their page so you can get more information on that. Let's get these turkeys unloaded and let these guys get to work. It's time for Feel Good Friday. How are you doing today? I'm Nate Eaton in downtown Pocatello. We are about to surprise a cool guy named Daniel. I want to tell you all about him. I got an email about him earlier this month. Daniel has been a longtime regular at Five Guys, where I work. Ever since I first met him, I could tell the effect he has on everyone around him. His energy and happiness are contagious. Almost every time Daniel decides to come into Five Guys, he buys the meal for the person in front of him, no matter the cost. Along with the stranger's meal, he always orders two burgers, one for him and one for his mom. He makes it a point to get to know and tips everyone on shift a considerable amount. After talking to Daniel over his many visits, he invited me to come eat at the restaurant he co-owns, Sumasu, in downtown Pocatello. I decided to take my girlfriend and make it a date. Daniel went out of his way to make our dinner spectacular and one of a kind. He said he wanted to make our visit special and he kindly covered our entire dinner and threw in a delicious dessert for his birthday for him. His attitude and outlook is just what we need right now with the turmoil that 2020 has brought. If everyone could learn from this man, our days would become better day by day. We agree. We're outside Sumasu Asian Fusion and Sushi in Pocatello. They're closed. They, they open for lunch and open for dinner and we kind of came in the gap. So we're hoping that we can get him and that he's here. Let's go see. How's it going, man? Hey man, we're looking for Daniel. Uh, he ran out for a second, but he should be back in a moment. All right, we've got a surprise for him. For yeah? The customer that wanted us to thank him. How are you? Doing well. We're here, uh, a customer asked us to come and thank you. Okay, cool. So we're here for our Feel Good Friday segment. Apparently, when you go into Five Guys, you will buy other people's meals. Yeah, how would you guys possibly know that? Someone told us. Tell me tell me how long you've tell been doing them that. to keep their mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> now every time someone sees me in Five Guys, they're, they're gonna, gonna be like, like, oh, well, we've you're been the waiting, burger guy. We've been waiting at Five Guys for an hour for you. Oh, yeah, yeah kidding. Yeah, yeah, I kind of missed, uh, missed my daily appointment on yeah. Thursdays, yeah. Well, the person asked to, asked to remain anonymous, but said okay. that you you do this, apparently you've done it more than once. Yeah. You're, you're very friendly, you, you always got beat. You, and, and the fact that you own or manage this restaurant too, I mean, I guess you under, understand the industry. Yeah, it's a tough industry, so yeah. it, it's important to me, like when I go out to eat, I always tip, you know, 20 plus percent always, because it doesn't always happen here, and I see how it hurts people individually, but yeah, when I go out, I always do, and I always try to like cheer people up, because I know how crappy the service industry can be, yeah. and I want to show them like the other side of it, that it can be fun and exciting. So, uh, good for you. I'm you don't super really caught have to off do guard that. right now. I well, don't, don't, I don't, don't really worry. know what to say to you. But. Well, you don't have to say much. We just brought you some gift cards from Ashley <laughs> no, Furniture. That's ridiculous. The, yeah. no, I can't accept that. Well, we, this is part of our Feel Good Friday segment. So every week we surprise people that do good in the community. I'm going to give them to you. You can do whatever you want with them. But of right. course we had to get you five guys. <laughs> uh, two to five guys. So much. Okay. And then I figure you that's like ridiculous. burgers. So there's Red Robin and okay. then Panera if you want a sandwich. Wow, that's ridiculous. So. I don't even know what to say about that. Thank you well, so much. Thank you for making our community better. Definitely. Yeah, I, I, if anything, I, I would hope that people would just do the same, pay it forward. I think it's important to support those in our community all the way from 
you know, your five guy workers all the way up to your, your you know, local city officials, your police officers, your emergency responders, people in the hospital. I don't know. I'm, I don't even know what. Don't record any of this. <laughs> Throw this all <laughs> away. This we, is we got this on tape. Thank okay. you, Daniel. Great. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton. We are in Idaho Falls today outside the Stookies home. Delos and Betty just celebrated their 73rd wedding anniversary. He was 20 when they got married. She was 18. They've lived in Idaho Falls their entire life. They have farmed. They have done so much for our community. Most importantly, they had nine children. They have 46 grandchildren and around 110 great grandchildren, although that number may have changed in the past five minutes because their family is rapidly expanding. And we want to wish him a happy anniversary. I think this show shows you what you need to know about them. Welcome to Grandma and Grandpa's house, children spoiled while you wait. We're going to go in and just wish him a happy anniversary. We got them a bag of Hershey Kisses, two pounds of Hershey Kisses for all the kisses they've enjoyed over the years. Also some gift cards so that they can either order in some takeout food or go out to dinner once this COVID pandemic is over. So let's knock on the door and surprise them. Hello. Okay, so I should go get my mask, I'm sorry. Happy anniversary. <laughs> How are you doing? Hello. Well, wow. considered for... we got a crowd. Yeah, we're with East Idaho News. <laughs> and we oh, just thought wow. we'd stop by today. We understand it's a really special day for you. Well, yes, uh, I guess it is if you live this long. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask how old you are? I'm uh, uh, December 6th, I'll be 93, so I've got a little ways to go. And on the 20th December, she'll be, be 92. So you both have December birthdays. Yeah. And you both got married when you were what? 15? <laughs> no. She was, she was 18 and I was 20. And I'll tell you the truth, I was embarrassed when I went to get the marriage license and found out I had to have my father's signature. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Was that here in Idaho Falls? Yes. And, and 73 years. What's the secret? What's the key? Have a good husband. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Just work real hard all your life. How yep. many kids do you have? Yeah. I have nine. And are they all still around here? Yeah, all our children are still alive, but there we have a, all over, you know. A four in Utah but they're good and, and, they and come five up here. That's great. I bet they wanted to have a big party for you today, but with they COVID, are. they are. They're going to. Oh, good. What are you doing to celebrate? Well, they're going to try to get everybody on. What do you call it? A Zoom. Is that what you call You're it? You're going to have a Zoom party. We're going to have a Zoom get together. Did you ever think 73 years ago that you could look at a screen and have all your family on that screen and talk back and forth? No, no. No. <laughs> it's amazing what they've done. Well, we're glad you're here. And so we, wanted we. To, we wanted to bring you an anniversary present. I know there's been a lot of kisses over the years, <laughs> 73 years, but there's, I don't know, two pounds. <laughs> Two pounds of Hershey Kisses. And wow. we we also want to send you to dinner. And you can either order takeout or go pick it up or go dine in, whatever you're preferable oh, with. But God. there's a gift card to Applebee's. Oh, have you been to Applebee's? Yes, yeah, we yeah. have. After that, here's a gift card for ice cream. <laughs> so you can go grab ice cream or take your grandkids. Ashley Furniture. Oh my goodness, how come you're so good to us? Well, that's from Ashley Furniture. We do a, week, a segment called Feel Good Friday. Nothing makes people feel better than a successful, happy relationship. And you have proven that, that's for sure. Yeah. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton, and we are in Rigby today. We're about to surprise a really cool kid named Branson. From what we understand, he loves to shovel the snow. Sadly, or in a good way, I guess, depending on your view of snow, there hasn't been much to shovel this year. Um, that, that may change soon here with the forecast, but Branson looks forward to every snowstorm and he grabs his shovel and he visits all of his neighbors. He shovels the snow off of all of their driveways and the sidewalks. And we want to thank him for Feel Good Friday. Ashley Home Store in Idaho Falls in Pocatello got him some 
plain milk chocolate M&Ms. These are apparently his favorite candy, these M&Ms. So Ashley bought him two, pa two packs of M&Ms. Also, he loves to go to Subway. So we got him some gift cards to Subway and to Wendy's. So let's go thank Branson for all of his service to his community. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, is Branson here? here he is. Branson! Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. Are you? I am. How's uh, your day going? I'm good. I understand that you love to shovel the snow. Yes. Why do you like doing that? Because of it. So, that, so we can get it clean. So yeah, you, you can clear up the sidewalks and driveways? Yes. Get everything clean? Yes. But there hasn't been a lot of snow this year to shovel. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been able to shovel some of it, huh? Yes. <laughs> and, and I hear you just got a new shovel. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we wanted to come and thank you for all of your hard work for the community. You're do, welcome. Do you like M&Ms? Yes. Well, here's two big bags Look at thank you. of chocolate M&Ms. And I under oh, oh wait, I got something more. Don't leave yet. <laughs> I understand you like Subway. So I like Subway. What's yeah. your favorite sandwich at Subway? I like Italian. Italian? Do you get chips too? Sometimes. 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 There's $50 you can take to Subway. Thank you. And I have another card for you in the car to Wendy's. Have you ever been to Wendy's? Yes. Yeah, you like Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, well, we have a gift card for you to go to Wendy's, too. That's from Ashley Furniture in Idaho Falls in Pocatello. Yes. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. I wish you lived next door to me and you could shovel my driveway. Yes. Okay. We would if we could. I know. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, we're going to let you go. Let me go get that other gift card for you. Is there anything you want to say? The world's watching. Any message you want to say? My dad works at Bro Loves. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the... Well, I hope to see him at Bro Loves. You want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas? I have a Merry Christmas. All right, dude. Hey everybody, Nate Eaton here outside of Thunder Ridge High School. Happy Friday. It is time for Feel Good Friday and we are about to surprise some very deserving students. This is Jordan. She teaches theater here and the other day your mom had kind of a scary experience. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, so uh, my we, we were watching a dog at our house and my mom accidentally let the dog out when she was leaving and uh, she got in her car and she followed the dog uh, right up to about the entrance of Thunder Ridge High School and uh, stopped the car, opened the door to, to call the dog over and uh, it came so she got out of the car to stick it in her back seat and when she did so the car started moving. So either it didn't get in park or my mom's little lap dog knocked it out of park but it was moving and so she uh, tried to reach in and put it into park and ended up falling down and the car actually ran over and broke her uh, her left leg, the tibia and fibula just. Um, and uh, what was really incredible was that there were um, some students who, it was it was at our first lunch time, and so there were students who were leaving campus to go get, get lunch, and so they were right there. Um, and uh, we had one boy who jumped into my mom's vehicle uh, as it was still rolling um, to park it safely. And then um, the, there were three girls who uh, went over to my mom, called 911, called my dad, and stayed with my mom and stayed with the police officers until everything was, was done. Wow, so here's your mom lying on the ground with right. a broken leg. Right. And, and the car's moving, so these four students jump in and, right. and help. Right. And didn't you say that the next day one of even one of them even went to check on her? Yeah, the the next day one of the girls and her mom went and brought my mom um, a blanket and some some balloons and and things. So they're they're some really sweet kids. Absolutely, and we want to thank them for <laughs> Feel Good Friday. We got them each a gift card to to go to the store and buy whatever they want. Nice. Uh, so we're gonna call them down here and surprise them. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. What's your name? I'm Coleman. Coleman? Yeah. And? Ashley. Ashley. How are you? What's your name? Mariana. My, Mariana. We heard about what you guys did last week with this woman in the car. What, what happened? Were you guys headed to lunch or what was going on? Yeah, I just picked up my friend and we were just going to Maverick to get a burrito. And, <laughs> and you saw the car moving? or? Yeah, the car was just coming straight towards us. And, uh, I just did what anyone else would do. I mean, stop the car. It's not that, not that hard. <laughs> not that big of a deal. You're saying. What about you guys? What did you What did you guys witness? Um, 
the same thing. We just saw the car going into their car and we saw him get in the car and stop it. And then we saw the girl, the, the, the lady on the ground and we just helped her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got up and like we decided to help her because um, we were driving, we were about to go eat lunch too, but um, we saw the lady and like the car like was like, it like went and he went to stop it and we like got out of the car to like go help the lady out. And you stayed with her, right? Called yeah. 911 and called her husband and did, did you even go back to her house the next day? I did. And, and why, why did you do that? Well, to like see how she was. I went, I actually went to the hospital to see if she was still there, but she wasn't there and I like called her husband and like asked like where they were at and they were at their house and like I went to their house to like go drop like some like um, balloons off and like to see how she was. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, we wanted to thank you guys because who knows where that car would have gone and, and, and I, I know she appreciated it because somebody emailed us about it. We got you a gift card. We should have brought you a burrito gift card, a Maverick gift card. I'm sorry, but you can you can go to Target and buy whatever you want. And I know there was another girl that was with you who's not here. Do you guys ever see her? Are you yeah, friends? She's our friend. Could you pass that along yeah. to her? And what's her name? We want to get Cassandra. Cassandra. All right. We want to make sure she gets the credit too. Well, I hope that if I'm ever in a situation that you guys are nearby to help me out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Nice meeting you guys. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton, and it is time for Feel Good Friday. Have you ever been to Rockland? I haven't until today. If you go to American Falls, then south, you'll end up here in the little town of Rockland. And we're outside the Rockland School. We're about to surprise and thank a student for what he did a few weeks ago at a football game. His name is Cole. He's on the football team. He showed up to play and another teammate had forgotten his cleats. So this other teammate couldn't play because he didn't have the right shoes. Cole took off his cleats, gave him to the teammate and didn't play. He stood on the sidelines the entire game watching as his fellow teammate was able to play thanks to Cole's actions. And Cole deserves to be recognized today. Ashley Homestore has some gift cards for him. He can go out to dinner with his friends or his family. And right now we understand he is in English class. This is one of those schools where every student from kindergarten to 12th grade, they're all in the same building. So we're gonna go surprise Cole in the middle of English. Hi guys, sorry to interrupt. We're with East Idaho News. We're looking for coal. You, how's your book? So we're, we, we're here because we heard about something you did the other night at the football game. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. You took off your shoes and gave them to another player? Oh yeah. Yeah, tell me why you did that. It's just because he needed my shoes. And you didn't get to play though, right? Yeah. Well, we're going to have to come and thank you for that. Okay. So we got you guys some gift cards. You look so so thrilled to see us. Yeah. Um, we got you some gift cards. You're going to have to drive a little ways though because we couldn't okay. find anywhere in Rockland where you could go spend these. Is okay. there is there anywhere to eat in Rockland? No. <laughs> Besides is. your house? No. So, okay, there's, there's a gift card that you can go to McDonald's, $25. Red Robin, $25. Wendy's $20. You do have the internet here though, so you can order something off of Amazon. There's $30 on there. That's from Ashley Furniture in Idaho Falls. Thanks. <laughs> uh, who, who's the kid you gave your shoes to? Uh, Cody Woodward. Is he, is he in here by chance? Uh, no. All right. Well, thanks for all you do. Thanks. And good luck. Always carry around an extra pair of shoes, I guess. I will. Well, as you can tell, Cole didn't have much to say, but we want to thank him for what he does to make Eastern Idaho better. If you have an idea of somebody who should be nominated for Feel Good Friday, somebody we can thank, fill out the form at eastidahonews.com. You can find it under the Feel Good Friday section, and we hope you have a great weekend. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton. We are in Rexburg today, and I'm about to introduce you to a really special lady named May. May is 82 years old, and she recently got her bachelor's degree in nursing. 
Now she's been a nurse for 50 years while raising her children. And she decided when her husband passed away that she wanted to go back to school and obtain, finish, I guess, her lifelong dream of getting a bachelor's. So it took her six years. She started with BYU-Idaho Pathway and then transferred to BYU-Idaho and finished her degree. Now her family wanted to get together and congratulate her, have a big celebration, but because of COVID, they were unable to do that. So we're gonna come by and congratulate her ourselves. We got her some flowers. We got her these yummy chocolates from the Bluebird Candy Company. We also got her a gift card that she can use at Deseret Book and a $50 gift card from Ashley Home Store in Pocatello and Idaho Falls that she can use at Applebee's. She can get takeout, have it dropped off or take out her family when COVID is over. So we understand that she's home right now. Let's go congratulate this new grad. Hello, are you May? I am May. Are you coming? I'm coming to see you. You are? Yes. <laughs> well, come in. We want to, well, we'll just stay right here, but we wanted to congratulate you. We heard that you just accomplished a lifelong dream a few months ago. I did. What, what happened? What'd you do? What did I do? I went back to school. I'd been a nurse for 60 years, an RN, and I kept my license active. Wow. But I always want, I was a diploma nurse. I didn't have a bachelor's. And that was the thing that everybody, you know, they wanted people to get a bachelor's. But I always wanted a bachelor's. Okay. I thought I deserved it. But I, and I took some classes to try to earn it. But I raised seven children and worked and I went back to school. And you graduated? And I graduated. And, and I am so thrilled about it. <laughs> I bet. And now you have your degree, you're My an official. And those flowers are beautiful. Well, they're for you, so you can put them in a vase. I will love them. And we actually. I love flowers. These bluebird candies. I don't know oh, if you've I had love those. candy too. They're delicious. Like so we got you a few more things. Have you ever been to Deseret Book? Oh yes. Many that times. that's from Ashley Home Store. There's thirty dollars on that gift card. Oh my gosh. You can pick out whatever you want. That's wonderful. And then you can go to dinner. That's also from Ashley oh, Home Store. Goodness. That's fifty dollars that you can go and they do takeout so you don't even have to get out of your car. They'll bring it right to your car. So congratulations. You're never too You people are too good. <laughs> you are too good. Never too young or old to go back and accomplish your dreams, right? That's exactly right. I I never thought I could do it, but I did. There's people out there watching that are thinking they can't do it. What's your word of advice for that mother out there or that father that says, I just can't do it. I'm too old. You can. You can if you want to bad enough. You really can. It, my mother always said you can do anything you want if you want to bad enough. I believed her. You did. And now I proved it right. Good for you. Your local Ashley Home Store is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday.